All right, good morning and welcome to the Extreme Sports Park at Port Angeles, Washington for the second day of race one. Today we're going to have the fourth and fifth rounds of qualifying carrying over from yesterday and then we will move into the elimination rounds. So it will probably be as long of a day of broadcasting today as it was yesterday. So we appreciate you guys joining us on YouTube and Facebook. If you haven't done it already, please follow us on Facebook. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We very much appreciate you and we're going to do things a little bit differently today. We're going to be playing some live music here at the track, so there will be times like here in just a moment where there is going to be no audio. But that will only be during the, the in-between downtimes uh, where they're going to be playing music in the background like they are right this second. And I do not want to get a copyright strike on Cletus McFarland's channel or our channels on Facebook or YouTube. So just stand by. If you don't hear any audio, we'll try to have a, 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 logo, a logo up on the screen like there is now to tell you why it's muted. So just stand by for a great day's racing. We appreciate you, uh, the early viewers, for coming on and joining us. Stand by for some great racing. This is Paul White, the live stream producer for American Sprint Boat Racing.
Test. 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 That is loud. Test. Hello, 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 hello. Test, test, test. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to beautiful Extreme Sports Park for day two of our first race of 2023's Steel American Sprint Boat Racing Season. We had an action-packed day of qualifiers yesterday and can't wait to bring you more high-octane excitement with today's finals. We'll start things off this morning by wrapping up our qualifying rounds and an exciting afternoon plan of finals as our race teams battle it out for the checkered flag. But... Before we get started, please pause and honor us or honor our countries with us with the singing of the Canadian and United States national anthems brought to you today by 12-year-old Quinley Anderson. Please. 
stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. <laughs> oh, say, can you see? dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight are the ramparts we so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. All right. Eyes to the skies, folks, and keep an eye out for that red smoke. We have three skydivers coming in hot. Just three guys. They're having fun, doing what they love to do. Thank you to Colby Groves, 19, 39-year-old Alan Applegate, and Kyle, 36. They are headed on down.
Ladies and gentlemen, that is Colby, Allen, and Kyle. Thank you so much to our skydivers, and thank you, Quinley, for another wonderful performance this morning. All right, we're going to get things started in just a few minutes here, but we wanted to pass along an update for you. Uh, yesterday, we saw a, a pretty intense wreck that happened with one of our race teams, and we are very pleased to announce today that of our Jeepers Creepers race team, they're all back together as a family. No one's in the hospital anymore, just healing up some bad bruises, but our racer and navigator are all right. So a quick hand for Dylan and Terry Cummins. All right, who's ready for some racing this morning? All right. Also, don't forget, guys, we've got some great vendors around the park today, an expanded beer garden, kid zone, all sorts of cool stuff for you. And let's keep an eye out at our island hoppers. They got some prizes for you, so a hand for our island hoppers. So, ladies and gentlemen, these, these island hoppers that are helping you out, anybody here yesterday saw just how important they are for everything here at Extreme Sports Park. Not only do they provide you with entertainment, but also they are the first lifeline for our racers and navigators should anything go sideways. So we'd like to take a moment so to we'd thank like to take a moment these very to important thank people. These very important they're people. They're out in today's workforce, every, workforce day. every day in our local community, serving, protecting, and working hard. They're firefighters, police officers, hospital workers, teachers, and local business owners. After their long and sometimes gruesome work week, they come out here to stand on their feet for eight hours and during the heat of the sun to keep our racers safe. They're constantly on guard, ready to jump, and help any racer in need flipped, submerged, or beached. Not only are they here to keep the racers safe, but they put on a pretty darn good show out there on those islands for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise again for our very own Island Hoppers. We could not do this without them. All right, folks, and also taking a look around the park today, a few things to point out for you. We talked about we've got a kid zone. It's located near the beer garden. It's the place for kids to go and play. Just $5 an hour to watch your child. So if you need a break or your kids need a break, we know your kiddos are in good hands and will have a great time playing with all they have to offer. So go check out our kid zone just right over there by the beer garden. Also, head on down to T-Shirt Alley just prior to the pits over here, but not in the pits, and support your favorite Sprint Boat team by wearing their merchandise. You can find Psycho Racing, Live Wire, Jolly Roger, Dark Horse Racing, Wicked Racing, Fear Not, Avoiding Insanity, Obsession, and Juggernaut Racing teams, just to name a few. We also have several new vendors in the upper vendor area, including Northwest Nuggets, who donate a portion of their proceeds to help the military and first responders. They sell ESP attire and ASP merchandise, along with many other items. So come and check out all they have to offer. Also here at ESP, we've been making changes since last year's races. We've added a new camping section to the west in the direction of the spin-out pool. This new area is called Campground West, so go check it out. The beer garden now is over in that direction as well, and we do allow minors in there accompanied by an adult. You can now access the pits from there as well. And have you noticed that you can hear the announcer now? ESP has added an all new sound system, so a big thank you to all that were involved with installing a bigger and better Extreme Sports Park.
We'll be underway with our fourth round of qualifiers momentarily here as our first boats make their way off the boat ramp. All right, kicking things off this morning for our fourth round of qualifiers in the 154A boat. It's Purcell Racing's Jeff Purcell and James Goldberg. Making their way to the starting line. The green flag is up and they are off. And Purcell Racing kicks off the morning with a clean run. Purcell Racing starting, Purcell Racing starting, starting things off in the modified class this morning with that clean run there. With a solid time of, with a solid time of under a minute. Official time on that, 58.421. Now making their way to the starting line, full tilt racing, Selden Gleb and Scarlett Taylor. They're in the 03A boat, also in the modified class. Their best time yesterday, just over 50 seconds. Full tilt, sponsored, Full tilt, by, sponsored by Greasy Rat Garage is Kurt Taylor, Jeff Halstead Photography, Wildlight Motorsport Photography, Richard Ragsdale Photography, and Bud Wendell Image Graphics by Buds. And they make their way to the starting line. Green flag is up. And here we go. DNF as our island hoppers make their way over to the O3A boat, checking on our racer and navigator, making sure they're all right. We have our emergency response team going to check on our racer navigator, making sure everybody's okay. Was that a thumbs up, guys? Is everybody okay over there? All right.
So as our island hoppers are assisting the O3A full tilt boat, we'd like to take a moment to thank a few of our sponsors this morning. Lakeside Industries of the Olympic Peninsula Division is a proud sponsor of Extreme Sports Park and would like to welcome sprint boat racers and fans. Come see Lakeside today for all your paving needs on the Olympic Peninsula. Extreme Sports Park would also like to thank the many countless volunteers that come to make this event possible. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. Take a moment when you see someone in a staff shirt and say thanks for their help. This year, OSP Sling is celebrating over 50 years of manufacturing and selling slings to companies around the world. OSP Sling is happy to be able to sponsor along with other local companies for the return of ESP and the Sprint Boat Races. TJ Enterprises, a small hometown excavating and tractor business serving Clallam County residents. The services they provide are sh shed prep, grading for patios, driveway maintenance, brush removal, and field mowing. Call for a free estimate, 360-912-2976. Olympic Electric is a proud sponsor of ESP and very community vested. We do commercial, industrial, high voltage, and utility construction. ESP thanks you for all your support here at the park. ESP would also like to thank APS Electric for the many years of support you've given in taking care of all the electrical needs of the park. A huge thank you to Brian, Andy, and Cheryl. So that's just a... So that's just a few of our great sponsors. We'll have more to pass along to you throughout the show. And uh, just a quick note to our fans this morning. Outside alcohol is not allowed within the Sprint Boat fenced area. When drinking alcohol within the park, please stay in designated areas. We have folks here to help maintain these rules. They'll be courteous in reminding people. Please be courteous to them. Taking a look at some fun upcoming events we have going on at the park this summer and fall. Northwest Beer Fest will feature microbrews and beers from all over. The Beer Fest is happening August 25th and 26th. We'll be featuring live music throughout the entire festival. There'll be a large covered beer garden with food vendors, axe throwing, and festive games, a maker's market, and much more. And also, don't miss out on riding the mechanical bull. Fall Fest at ESP is scheduled for a whole weekend of fun on September 22nd through 24th. New this year, final Survivor Demo Race and 4x4 Unlimited Series Obstacle Racing Show. We'll also have, back by popular demand, an Axe Throwing Alley, Pumpkin Patch, Haze Maze, Hay Rides, Petting Zoo, Bounce Houses, Face Painting, Live Music, Beer Garden, and all the food you can think of. There are so many things to do, we can't list them all. This is an awesome adventure for a weekend of fun for you and the whole family. Family day tickets are free for five and under. $8 to $10 for children and adults are $20. Free parking and tokens are available for purchase on arrival. We'll see you there. All right, we're so pleased that there was a little uncomfortable but safe landing for our full tilt boat. We're gonna get things back underway here shortly with the Jolly Rogers boat. That's boat 208, uh, TJ Burroughs and Keith Brownsberger. They race in the modified class as well. And the Jolly Rogers 208 boat is proud to be sponsored by RC Worst Company, Roadkill Grill, Impact Paint and Collision Repair, Liberty Landworks, and Excavation. And we hear you, fans. Keep an eye out on those island hoppers throughout the show. You never know when they're going to throw out some cool swag for you.
We'll be back underway momentarily, just working out a couple of kinks with our timing system this morning, getting that uh, live back for you so you can keep an eye on our timing visual board. While we're getting that squared away, I want to thank a few more of our awesome sponsors. Green Crows is excited to sponsor this year's event, and they'd like to highlight our Green Crow Rock Products division. Our rock products business serves the Arlington, Washington area with a variety of washed sand and gravel aggregates, ranging from the finest sand for golf bunkers up to boulders the size of a Volkswagen van for your landscaping needs. Visit us at greencrow.com, and please welcome our team if you see them today. Lower Elwha Food and Fuel Campus strives to bring the best possible service and prices to our Olympic Peninsula. With regular customers returning daily, we know how best to serve you. We are neighbors in this community. You can count on us to be your destination and your gateway to the Olympic National Park. Red sheds, whether you need storage, a garden shed, carport, tiny home, or barn, we've got them. Come see us on Highway 101 East between Port Angeles and Squim, or in Port Hadlock on Highway 19 between Chimicum and Port Townsend. At Red Sheds, we've got you covered. Also, fans, we'd like to take a minute to honor all the veterans who are here with us today and have served our country. Without all of you veterans, we would not be here having this race. So from all of us, we want to sincerely thank you for your service. We're proud of you. We also would like to give a special thank you to the disabled veterans that are here with us today. Let's hear it for all the veterans in the house today. All right, folks, let's get this show back on the road, uh, back on the water, and keep on rolling. Okay, so we've got Jolly Rogers. Getting in the water as we speak. Again, this is the 208 boat in the modified class, piloted by TJ Burroughs. Keith Brownsberger, our navigator. After a couple of tough starts in the first qualifiers yesterday, in the third qualifying round, they had a great run of just 48.379 seconds. Let's see what they have, it, have for us to start things off this morning. A hand for Jolly Rogers Racing. All right, green flag is up, and they are off. And that is a clean run, folks. Official time on that one, a solid just 45.534 seconds. So shaving three seconds off of their best time yesterday, Jolly Rogers Raisins, TJ Burroughs, and Keith Brownsberger. Coming out next in the 55 boat, checkmate, is Frank Toffmark and Kelly Toffmark.
and checkmate is off. And Castle Rock's checkmate racing with a clean run by Frank and Kelly. And also, if you are interested in a little advertising with Checkmate, Checkmate Racing would be happy to help advertise for any business. Stop by and let's talk about it. Official time on that run, just 41.404 seconds for Checkmate Racing, the 55 boat. Folks, if you want to follow along with our rotation today, just keep an eye in your... Sorry, just listening into the pits there. Keep an eye at the rotation that's on page 3080 of your program. Follow along in rotation two with our racers and navigators today. Now we've got boat 145 in the water. This is Jason Perkins and Kyle Bells, and they're off. Holding it together. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is another clean run. Forty five point two two three, forty five point two two three for the Poor Decisions boat. That is their best time of the qualifiers so far for the Poor Decisions team. I want to give a special shout out to my friend Scott Summers who watching in Texas and Bud Wendell who have both helped me figure out why we're getting pixely shots on the lower launch cam. So we're going to try to get that corrected uh, by not zooming in so far, and we'll fix that during the lunch break. Thanks again. All right, making their way to, All the, right, making their way to the starting line now. Boat 623 in the modified class. It's Fear Not Racing's Clint Birch and Terry Lavelle. Their best time yesterday, a solid 43.349 seconds. Let's see what they have in store for us this morning. The green, flag is the green flag is up. And go! And Fear Not Racing holds on for another clean run this morning. Official time coming down in just a moment. 
41.846 on that one, 41.846. That is your Fear Not Racing Boat 623, sponsored by Next Level Racing Composites, Monty's Racing Repair, FST Carburetors, Jeff Halstead Photography, and Imagine Graphics. An update for you, folks. The the O three B boat is on the timer. Is on the five timer. Minute right now, five minute timer. Right now, it's the eighty six boat in the water. That is Juggernaut Racing's Jason and Samantha Christ, and they're off. Juggernaut Racing with the clean run. Forty-one point two five two on that one. Forty-one point two five two. They've had a clean run in every round of the qualifier so far, and everything under forty-five seconds. So a very solid weekend so far for the Juggernaut Racing team in boat eighty-six. All right, guys, coming out now is the 71 boat. This is Nut Deep Racing, Jay Correa and Gina Dell as the navigator. Looking to qualify today after a tough day yesterday with a did not start and two did not finishes. So we'll see what they have in store for us this morning. This is the 71 boat, Nut Deep. And the green flag is up, and they are off. And that is a clean run for Nut Deep, a clean run. Fifty four point zero nine two our time on that one. Fifty four point zero nine two. And folks, we're excited to let you know that we are live streaming our races on the ASBR Pro Racing Series on YouTube and Facebook. So if your friends and family weren't able to make it out this morning, let them know about it. Send them a link so they can follow along. Again, that's ASBR Pro Racing Series on YouTube and Facebook. We'll be live streaming all of our events. The 154B boat in the water now for Purcell Racing. That's 154B, James Goldberg driving Margaret Purcell, the navigator.
Purcell Racing with a clean run there in the 154B boat. Forty nine point zero three two the official time there a solid run after a tough day of qualifiers yesterday for James and Margaret they come in with a forty nine point oh three two to kick things off this evening or morning. Boat O three B still on the five minute clock that's full tilt racing they've got about two minutes left so wanting to get in the water as soon as they can. And again, folks, if you want to take a look at the rotation in your program on page 38, you can see rotation two is the rotation we're running today. We've already seen this morning a handful of those boats. Looks like the issue that a few of our boats are running into is coming off of that 13 turn into five. We've had a couple of boats catching the beach a little bit there. So again, these are some high octane machines cutting corners as fast as they can. But so far, a very solid job early on of not running into issues, being able to recorrect in a morning full of clean runs to this point. Also folks, don't forget, ESP does have two ATM machines located in the south ticket booth area and in the north ticket booth area. So if you felt like doling out some cash for some cool swag over here by the pits or at some vendors and you say, oh shoot, I forgot my green. That's all right, we'll get you taken care of. Hit those ATM machines. Trust me, we have got plenty of money for you to spend. All right, an update for Full Tilt Late Racing. The 03B boat may be having some technical issues of some sort. They're going to take a did not start here to start off the fourth qualifier round. Now we've got boat nine in the water to kick things off for our 400 class. It's Jesse Miller and Kalen Miller. Jesse's our driver, Kalen the navigator for Fat Buddy Racing's boat number nine. They had, a solid morning. they had a solid morning yesterday, running under 45 seconds in two of the three qualifying rounds. Their best time yesterday, 42.218. The green flag is up. And they're off. And the Canadians with a clean run, Fat Buddy Racing's Jesse and Kalen Miller in the 400 class kick things off with a clean run. 41.089, that is their best run so far of the weekend. Folks, visit Pen Print for all your graphic and printing needs. Located in downtown Port Angeles, Heather and George are a large part of this community and support Wicked Racing and the Extreme Sports Park. We support you, Pen Print, and thank you for all you do for ESP. Next up in the 400 class, the 146A boat, Jolly Roger Racing's Nicole Brown and Tina Huff. Wrapped up yesterday with a 45.322 in the third qualifier. Making their way to the starting line. Green flag is up. And go. And 
And that's going to be a DNF, a wrong turn early on. So that, folks, is going to be our first DNF this morning. DNF means did not finish. Reasoning for did not finish there is the wrong rotation taken. They should have been turning from the 14 into the 10, took the 14 to the 9. However, despite the DNF, they still have a best time for themselves of a 45.322 again. That was in the third qualifier yesterday. So Nicole Brown and Tina Huff running still a running a good race this weekend. Another Jolly Roger, Another Jolly Roger racing boat up next. This is boat 625, piloted by Mike Reardon and Madison Wurst. Coming off a best time of 46.583 yesterday. And they, approach the, and they approach the starting line. Green flag is up. And they're off. And that, folks, is another clean run. Forty-six point seven eight four, the official time on that one. Forty-six point seven eight four. Coming out momentarily is Boat 22. That's Fat Buddy Racing's Punisher boat, piloted by Phil Miller and navigated by Amy Thomason. They're in the water now, sponsored by Monty's Racing Engines, AFX Machine, Precision Finish, and M&M Glass. Very solid runs. Very solid runs yesterday. Their best time yesterday, 38.151. And another very solid clean run for the Fat Buddies. They cruised in there at 37.578 seconds. So less than 38 seconds on that run for the 22 boat, the Punisher of Fat Buddy Racing. Race fans, Herman Brothers is proud to have been serving this great community for over 50 years now. ESP thanks you for your continued support, and we look forward to many more years of commitment and dedication to our great community. We thank you, Herman Brothers. 
now getting ready at the, and now getting ready at the starting line. Boat 1776. It is McFarland's racing. Cletus McFarland and Spicy Spence. The green flag is up. The green flag is up. And Cletus hits it. And Cletus McFarland never afraid to put the hammer down with a clean run for McFarland Racing. 38.960 for McFarland Racing. That is their best run of the weekend. Had a couple of DNFs in one solid run yesterday, but again, he likes to put the pedal down and had a couple of DNFs when he wanted to show off his boat to the crowd when he uh, beached himself a couple of times yesterday. The steam and kiwi. The steam and kiwi in the water now. That's boat 68, piloted by Rudy Schuler and navigated by David Thompson. Continuing on our 400 class action, making their way to the starting line. Green flag is down. They're off. And the Steven Kiwi with a clean run. That's a run of 43.665 by the 68 boat, sponsored by CFO Custom Fabrication Design, Northwest Parts and Equipment, Jameson Law, Bent Blade Heights, and Add Local Value, all sponsors of the Steven Kiwi, coming in with a time of 43.685. Central welding Folks, supply. Central Welding Supply is a proud to be a sponsor of ESP, ASB Racing, and to support the goal to take Jet Sprint Boat Racing to the Pro Sports Arena. Central Welding Supply, locally owned family business, offering exceptional service, 27 locations in Washington, Oregon, and Alaska. We've got Guano Loco in the water now. The green flag goes, and they're off. Larry Steele driving today, Sammy Steele, his navigator. Best time yesterday of 48.297. The Guano Loco boat sponsored by Washington Masonry, Precision Propeller, Bunker Bar, and Pyramid Printing. 
running a 400 CI Dart engine. In the Idaho team, Guano Loco with a clean run. Forty-eight point one oh six on that run. Forty-eight point one oh six. How about these runs so far this morning, folks? Some solid racing to start things off. Again, these teams, they don't learn these rotations. They don't hear about them until the night before racing gets underway. And they aren't allowed to go out and practice on the water until these qualifiers start. So, as you see, working on getting those times better and better throughout the weekend trying to make their way into the finals. Rogers Racing, Rogers Racing coming out next. It's the 285 boat. River Rogers behind the wheel. Ryan Rogers is navigator. Cut down on their times yesterday by about five seconds each run, ending the day with their best time at 43.944. We'll see what they have in store for us for their first run today. And the green flag is up. And they're off. And the Rogers family with another clean run in the 285 boat. Rogers racing a clean run. 42.002, that's their best run of the weekend. Folks, Straight View Credit Union is locally owned and operated. We've been serving the Clallam County for over 83 years. We offer competitive loan and deposit accounts. Stop by our office or visit our website at www.svu.com. Boat 156 in the water now for the 400 class. It's Stephen and Randy Church of Bad Influence. Making their, way to the starting Making their way to the starting line now. The flagger puts the, the, flagger up. Puts the green up. And they're off. And yet another clean run. The Bad Influence Boat, sponsored by Jocko Fuel, Order of Man. Origin Manufacturing, Cobalt Computer Services, Body Works, Ram Trucking, Monty's Racing Repair, Imagine Graphics, Industrial Threadworks, and Jet Speed LTD. And they've got to be happy with that 43.273 run. 43.273 for Bad Influence.
42 in the water now. This is straight sideways. Dan Hatch behind the wheel. Wendy Wright, the navigator. Ran three clean runs yesterday, making their way to the starting line. Here they go. Run! Forty-three point one two three. The time for straight sideways. Boat 27 in the water now, Preventing Insanity, sponsored by Gateway Materials and Trailers, Rogers Motors, Hot Shot Espresso, Sprint Tech, Superior Construction, RS Racecraft, Weaver Group Limited, Dynamic Designs, and Monster Energy. Leighton Lilly, the driver, Cody Holzer, the navigator, and they're off! And that's a clean run. Official time on that, 40.188 for Preventing Insanity. Four qualifying runs for them so far. Four clean runs for them to start the weekend. One forty six B in the water now. This is Jolly Roger Racing. Dustin Springer, our driver, Tina Huff, our navigator. Continuing our action for the four hundred class. And the green flag is up. And they're off. Jolly Roger with a clean run. And that's their best run of the weekend so far, 41.209.
That is the 146B boat, Dustin Springer and Tina Huff of Jolly Roger Racing. Boat 151 making their way to the starting line now. This is Psycho Racing. Psycho Racing, Cole Patrick, the driver, Theron Weaver, our navigator. They continued to trim time off throughout the qualifiers yesterday, ending the day with a 46.597. The green flag is up. And there they go. And it's a clean run for Psycho Racing in the 400 class. A clean run. 46.602, the time on that one, 46.602. Folks, we've got all sorts of exciting sprint boat action headed your way this season. This is just our first race. we got a few more headed your way. Join us August 12th and 13th in Ontario, Oregon at our newest track for our second racing event of the season. We'll be back here in Port Angeles September 9th and 10th. And September 30th and October 1st, you can join us in Ontario once again. Folks, this is Jolly Roger Racing's 360 boat, Chris Farmer driving Jen Farmer, the Navigator. Another clean run. We got 48.014 on that run, Livewire Racing making their way into the water now. Matt Denson will be driving today. Vaughn Trapp, his navigator. They're our last boat in the 400 class before we move on to Unlimiteds. Sponsored by Trapp Contracting Services, LLC, Josh Callender Cornwell Tools, Evans Automotive, Doghouse Powder Coating, Earth Tech Roofing and Construction, Gotta have this, Maxwell Silver Hammer Construction Incorporated, all sponsors for Live Wire Racing. And they're off.
And that's going to be a DNF missed turn 13 there. So able to hang on for a little bit after almost beaching themselves, but unfortunately missing turn 13 for the DNF. Next up, we're going to be moving on to the fourth qualifying round for our unlimited class. And these boats can really open things up. Running an LS boat, this is boat number 36, Bad Habit Racing. Scott Rapp, your driver, Jalen, the Navigator. Their best time yesterday was a 58.093. The green flag is up. Here they go. Oh. So skidding out of the water and we're out to the beer gardens. It's going to be a DNF for the LS Boat 36. <laughs> Looks like everybody's all right there, folks. Folks, we've got a vehicle running with the doors locked. It's a California license plate 9CGR017. Just looking out for you. It's a Jeep out there back behind the beer gardens. Also, anybody that has pets in their And please, folks, if you brought your pets with you to today's festivities, please do not leave them in the vehicle with those windows up. Please do not leave the pets in the vehicles. Get them out here for some fresh air. And our jet ski rescue making their way out to help Bad Habit get back in the water. And look at those island hoppers, folks. That's called teamwork right there. Folks, be sure to check out our vendors that are located up in the berm for the food court. We've got all sorts of great stuff up there. Just to name a couple, we've got Knights of Columbus. The Port Angeles Knights of Columbus are serving hamburgers with cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and grilled onions. All proceeds go to charity, so pick up a burger, drink, and chips. Also, AB's Hillbilly Euros. Look for Euros, falafel, loaded fries, or baklava at AB's Hillbilly Euros food truck. Northwest Sugar Shack offering Red Bull spritzers, root beer floats, ice cream, and cheesecake. Also serving smoked barbecue pulled pork sandwiches with coleslaw chips and a drink. And for your sweet tooth also, we've got Sweet Clouds and Candy Dreams offering a variety of mouth-melting cotton candy. And if you're still waking up, in case these engines haven't been able to wake you up enough yet, We've got Fogtown Coffee. If you need your coffee fix, visit Fogtown Coffee Trailer, offering a full espresso menu. And as the sun continues to come out today and things warm up, feel free to visit Aloha Smoothies. Aloha Smoothies is offering a variety of cold, fresh fruit smoothies made with real fruit juice and the freshest of fruit around. Come cool off with one of Aloha's smoothies. Egg roll huts also up there on the berm. They're serving sweet, delicious egg rolls and stir fry. Quench your thirst with some Thai tea as well. And we've got Highland Coffee Donuts up there too. Swing by, grab a box of the freshest of fresh donuts made right on site at Highland County Donuts. 
Benny B is also up there serving up funnel cake, fried Oreos, and Twinkies. Get them while they're hot. And, of course, we've got Pizza Hut here as well today. Cheese or pepperoni pizza by the slice served with a cold soda. So those are your berm food court vendors. Also, if you're over by the beer garden, don't feel like going all the way over to that berm. Visit Southern Nibble. Saddle on up and get yourself some of the best barbecue fries and pulled pork sliders around. Their sweet Carolina sauce is to die for. They're located over by the beer garden. And if you're over here by the pits, Olympus Hot Dogs is the only food vendor located by the pits. Located near the launch, Olympus Hot Dogs is offering a variety of gourmet hot dogs and nachos. So just a handful of our awesome vendors that we have out there for you to satisfy your hunger and thirst as you enjoy a day of racing here at Extreme Sports Park. We'll be continuing on in the unlimited class here in just a moment, folks. Just getting everything situated over at our boat launch. Gives us some time to tell you a little bit more about some places around the park for you to check out. Again, if the kiddos need a little break or if you need a little break, have your kids check out the Kid Zone. It's located near the beer garden. Great place for the kids to go play. Just five bucks an hour to watch your child. Can't find a better deal than that for kid washing definitely and another sponsor we'd like to thank Les Schwab stores and employees don't just sell tires and brakes we take care of our neighbors and are part of our communities we're committed to service in our stores and service in our communities because when our communities succeed it's good for all of us With steel, get extreme performance in your backyard with steel battery tools. From mowers to trimmers and chainsaws to blowers, battery power made by steel. Starting at just $199.99, find your local steel dealer at steeldealers.com. Also, folks, CHS Propane is pleased to sponsor Wicked Racing. CHS Propane, your full-service propane company servicing the Olympic Peninsula, is locally owned and operated by trained and experienced professionals dedicated to customer satisfaction and your safety. Did you know that Extreme Sports Park has no electricity? We run everything off generators. CHS Propane supplies our big generator with all the fuel we need to keep things running. We thank you all at CHS. You're awesome. Another supporter of Extreme Sports Park, Frank's Auto Repair, right here in Port Angeles. For all your domestic and foreign auto repair needs, give us a call at Frank's Automotive Repair. All right, boat 39 in the water now. It's another one of our Jolly Roger racers. Eric Werner, our driver. Don Davis, the navigator. Jolly Roger racing, boat 39M. Three, three clean runs yesterday. Let's see if they can keep it up here on Sunday. And the green flag is once again up. And they're off.
And that's a clean run for Jolly Roger Racing. Thirty-nine point eight one eight. Thirty-nine point eight one eight. So under forty seconds there for Jolly Roger Racing's Eric Werner and Don Davis. Boat 91 in the water now, the Flying Hawaiian. Keep an eye on this boat if you're interested in sprint boat racing because it's for sale. So I'm sure they're going to want to go open it up for you. The Flying Hawaiian ran by Dustin Chase with Jamie, his navigator. And here they go. Get in there. The Flying Hawaiian with a clean run there. I think they might have lowered the track by about two inches of water as well. That was a lot of water spraying out there. 39.082, an awesome run. 39.082. The 99 M boat still trying to make their way into the water. They've got just under 30 seconds left on the clock. That's TNT Racing. Looks like some Jeep issues going on over there for the TNT boat, trying to get them down to the water. Trying to resolve an issue, getting that Jeep up and running. TNT is currently stuck at the top of the ramp. Looks like the racing team was ready to go. The boat was ready. It was the Jeep that was having some issues. So not able to get the boat down to the ramp. We'll keep you updated on that situation. Folks, Matt Joik State Farm in Port Angeles aims to make insurance simple for people and provide a positive experience. Whether it's cars or trucks or homes or boats, we're happy to have the opportunity to earn your business. We take pride in serving the peninsula, taking pride in our local community. We love our country and feel blessed to have the opportunity to do what we do. Visit us online at portangelusagent.com or you can call or text 360-457-4567. Thank you. An aeroseptic of Port Angeles wishes everyone a great time here at ESP and thanks Extreme Sports Park for putting on such great family entertainment. So with the family entertainment, how is everybody enjoying day two so far? How's everybody enjoying day two so far? All right, all right. We're just getting started. 
We'll wrap up these qualifiers, and after lunch, we're going to have some awesome finals action for you as these guys compete for the checkered flag. So they'll be putting it all out there on the line this afternoon. So be ready. In the meantime, again, if you're hungry, thirsty, check out some of our awesome vendors. If you want to get a new t-shirt, new sweatshirt, or some other cool swag, go visit your favorite racers' tents and check out all the cool stuff that they've got over here. I just want to take this time to give a special thanks to my wife, Bonnie Burnham, who sits here and does all the titling and the audio levels and the graphics and the instant replays, which is a whole lot. I just do the shooting once we're set up and running. Also want to thank Jeff Shaw, who is running the pan, tilt, and zoom on the lower launch cam there. So all those great shots of the boats coming off the trailers, that's due to my friend Jeff Shaw. Special thanks to those two. Couldn't do the stream without him. Folks, one more event coming up this fall at Extreme Sports Park that we didn't have time to tell you about yet this morning is our Halloween Trick or Treat. We want to have a big thank you to last year's Trick or Treat Halloween sponsors. We wanted people to know that we are again hosting the free Trick or Treat Trail event again this fall and are working hard to make this year's event a huge success. All right, we're ready to roll again. It's Fat Buddy Racing. Scott Saxton, our driver. Pedro Riker, the navigator in the 13 boat. Three clean runs yesterday, looking for a fourth. And that's going to be a DNF. So our Canadian friends missing that turn into the nine hole coming off of the 14, resulting in their first DNF of the weekend. Coming out next in the unlimited class, it's going to be the 02 boat. 02M, that's Vaughn Trapp, our driver, and Matt Denson, our navigator. That's live wire racing. Had some issues yesterday. Took three did not starts as they continued to have boat issues throughout the day. I talked to Vaughn this morning. He said they got things resolved. They're hoping to have a couple of solid qualifying runs today to make it their way into the finals. And actually, sorry about that, folks. So that live wire boat still working on getting in there. We're going to go ahead and jump to Wicked next. Wicked is our number 10 boat. Wicked Racing with Port Angeles' very own Extreme Sports Park's very own Dan Morrison driving and Sammy Gustafson as the navigator. Three very solid runs yesterday, and here they go. a clean run for the Wicked Racing boat. That Wicked Racing number 10 boat sponsored by Steel, Alderson's Auto Body, Doghouse Powder Coating, Pen Print, Ed's Automotive and Machine, and Pelican Fuel. 37.201. Excuse me, even better, it was 37.001. Sometimes these boats are just a little loud, so it can be a little tough to hear our official times, but we'll make sure to correct them for you. So again, a great run, 37.001 for Wicked Racing.
Bootlegger Racing making their way to the starting line now. This is Boot 33, Ron Gallagher, our driver, Josh Reynolds, the navigator. Yesterday, their best time was a 53.319. Bootleggers, the 33 boat, sponsored by Northwest Mechanical Contractors. The green flag is up. And they're off. And that, folks, is going to be a DNF. Our Island Hoppers making their way over to help out the bootleggers. The issue there is he was looking to hit turn 12 and instead found his way into the seven hole. They'll look to correct that in our final round of qualifying coming up shortly. That boat took a lot of water and the back end is sinking. Folks, be sure to join us for Beer Fest coming up in just a couple of weeks. August 25th and 26th, we'll have a good old Beer Fest here at ESP featuring live music, a huge covered beer garden and tastings, food vendors, axe throwing and festive games, a maker's market and more. And after that, we've got Fall Family Days coming up. That's September 22nd through the 24th. We'll be offering an inflatable kid zone, BB gun shootout, hay rides, pumpkin patch, Food vendors, Maker's Mark, Maker's Market, a huge covered beer garden, and more family fun. Also, kids under five get in free. And new this year, a final Survivor, for Survivor demo race and 4x4 Unlimited Series obstacle racing. And Tractor, Mr. Tractor, if we could get you out to the islands there. So we need a tractor to help get the bootleggers off the track. So tractor to the track, please. Tractor to the track. Look at how strong these island hoppers are, guys. Pulling that boat out of the water. If anyone around here is working on moving or anything, get a hold of these guys. Maybe they'll help you out. Our island hoppers communicating the best way to get the bootlegger boat out of the water. Teamwork moving this boat. Instead of two guys in a van, you can hire the island hoppers. It's 12 guys in an ambulance. All right, folks, if you haven't had a chance to pick up a program for this weekend's race, be sure to get one so you can follow along our track rotation. Again, it's just towards the end of your program. Page 38 there has a overview of our track and our different rotations for throughout the season. So the way that that works is we have three different rotations uh, for the 2023 season that may be used, but they are not decided 
ahead of time. The drivers and the navigators don't know, the race teams don't know what rotation they're going to use before they get to the park for the weekend's events. They just find out the Friday night before racing starts on Saturday what rotation they're going to have to follow. The rotation for this weekend's race, of course, rotation two. So trace along with your finger as these racers and navigators go along, and you yourselves can be the first to know, is it going to be a clean run or is it going to be a DNF? We've also been letting you know about some of those great events coming up here at Extreme Sports Park throughout 2023. Lots of events to keep track of, so keep in mind this website, extremesportspark.net, the easy way to quickly locate all the cool stuff coming up here at Port Angeles' very own Extreme Sports Park. And here comes the tractor to the rescue. Looks like they're calling in more reinforcements. Jet skis on the way to assist. Folks, while we have a minute, we want to send a big shout out and thank you to all of our VIPs located up on the top berm. You can be a VIP too. Just ask us how. VIPs, how are you doing this morning? All right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Hope you're enjoying your VIP experience here at Extreme Sports Park. All right, we're almost there, headed down the final stretch. So the bootlegger racing boat, just about out of the water. Struggling with the rotation so far this weekend, a few DNFs, but they do have a solid clean run time of 53.319. That came in our first round of qualifiers yesterday. And our bootlegger racing team gives the crowd a wave as they make their way, kind of like riding on a little, little parade float as they make their way to the finish line. They're going to do their best to be back out here for you guys in our fifth qualifying round. So folks, did you know that sprint boat racing actually originated about 50 years ago? The uh, earliest uh, sprint boat racing in the 70s traces back to New Zealand when New Zealander Bill Hamilton developed the Hamilton Jet Drive System, a revol revolutionary propulsion system that allowed boats to navigate shallow water without the use of a propeller. This innovation opened up new possibilities for boat racing in narrow and restricted waterways, giving birth to the sport of sprint boat racing with 
the first official sprint boat race taking place in New Zealand in 1973. And folks, we have a team here all the way from New Zealand today. It's our Kiwi racing team in the 35 boat. They're actually hailing from New Zealand, Chris Munro and Katie Munro. So keep an eye out for them in our next qualifying round when they make their way back onto the track. All right, sounds like they're getting ready down by the boat launch to resume here in the Unlimited. Engines revving down near the pits as we wait for our next boat in the Unlimited Series. Folks over by the beer garden, if you're starting to get a little hungry after the uh, morning beverages, be sure to hit up Southern Nibble, saddle on up, and get yourself some of that great barbecue fries and pulled pork sliders, and try that sweet Carolina sauce. It is so good. Again, that's Southern Nibble over there by the beer garden. How are you doing so far this morning, beer garden? Waking up a little bit still? All right. Ready for more racing, ready for these boats. Okay, it's boat 049 making their way to the starting ramp, so let's get back to racing. This is Obsession Racing. Robert Cox, Manny in the wheel, and Ali Krupp, the navigator. A couple of solid runs yesterday at just over 41 seconds, and the green flag is up. And they're off! So it was a solid run starting off. They were able to hold on and keep themselves from beaching themselves, but the DNF taken when they were supposed to keep around the corner of the track from the five hole over to the four, but made a turn into 14, resulting in the DNF.
All right, folks. Up next is that sprint boat that I was telling you about just a moment ago. It's the Two Kiwis Boat 35, hailing from the original birthplace of sprint boat racing. This is driver Chris Munro with his navigator, Brent Scamell, all the way from New Zealand. It is Two Kiwis Racing. And the green flag is up. And they are off. So kicking up some dirt on the way to the finish line, but that is a clean run for two Kiwis. Two Kiwis sponsored by Joe Kinney Industries, Westside Machine Racing Engines, and your name here. 38.942, 38.942, a very solid run for our friends from New Zealand. Folks, a note to pass along our O2M boat that we were telling you about earlier, the live wire boat that was having some issues yesterday and was not able to start any of the qualifiers. They are out for the day, so still some issues with that boat. We hope to see them back in the water a couple of weeks from now when we are in Ontario, Oregon, where we would love for you to join us. Psycho Racing making their way to the starting line now. This is the 151M boat. Kyle Patrick, your driver. Brooklyn, the navigator, and they're off. Clean run, a quick, quick clean run. And how about this to wrap up the fourth round of qualifiers, folks? 37.583. We have a one more unlimited class boat before we move on to qualifier five. That is the Jeepers Creepers boat 66M. On the clock at this time. They're changing on a fuel line over there, so a fuel leak changing on a fuel line trying to get in the water in time. And while they're working away, folks, we'd like to tell you about some more hardworking businesses in the area that work away for you. Green Crows is excited to sponsor this year's event and would like to highlight our Green Crow Rock Products division. Our rock products business serves the Arlington, Washington area with a variety of washed sand and gravel aggregates, ranging from the finest sand for golf bunkers up to boulders the size of a Volkswagen van for your landscaping needs. Visit us at greencrow.com and please welcome our team if you see them here today. Lower Elwha Food and Fuel just up the street strives to bring the best possible service and prices to our Olympic Peninsula. With regular customers returning daily, we know how best to serve you. We're neighbors in this community. You can count on us to be your destination and your gateway to the Olympic National Park. 
We've also got Frank's Auto Repair in Port Angeles, a supporter of Extreme Sport Park. For all your domestic and foreign auto needs, call Frank's Automotive Repair. Morrison Excavating, also a proud sponsor of Extreme Sports Park. They also built the track that's being raced on today. Morrison Excavating is a proud sponsor of both the park and Wicked Racing. An update for you folks, three minutes remaining on that clock as our 66M boat works to make their way into the water. That's three minutes left on the clock for Jeepers Creepers. And they're up and running. Just got to get off that trailer and into the water. Folks, so Jeepers Creepers able to get up and running, just trying to make their way to the starting line. This was the boat that was involved in that scary, scary wreck yesterday. But we're so excited to have our driver, Dylan, back manning the boat today. And Jason is going to be navigating for him while regular navigator Terry heals up from being a, get a little bit bruised up yesterday. But we're excited. They're here, safe, and back ready to race today. And we wouldn't be able to do this without the great safety precautions put in place by the American Sprint Boat Racing System. They follow all safety precautions to keep their racers and navigators safe. These folks are strapped in. I've been in one of these boats before as a rider. You, you, once you're in there, you are not moving. So thanks to the safety restraints, thanks to our island hoppers, thanks to our great EMTs, we're so excited to have Dylan and his team back out here. So here they come, it's Jeepers Creepers looking for a solid run and to wrap up Qualifier 4. The green flag is up, and they're off! Folks, that's going to be a DNF, and he knew it. The same issue that a previous racer had, unable to hit that four, unable to continue on to the four hole, instead taking the turn at that 14. It may seem easy enough when you're following along with your finger, but you have to keep in mind, these folks are just a couple feet above the water, so those islands come up on you quick. The depth perception looks really funky, so you have to really be on it, it is very easy to miss these turns. One of those things that it is much harder than it looks, and this sport does not look easy. One more chance, though, right? But they will have one more chance in the fifth qualifier to still qualify for the finals. So here we go. We're going to jump right into our final round of qualifiers before we get ready to move on to lunch and into the finals. We're going to go back to our modified class with Purcell Racing coming back out. That's the 154A boat. Jeff, nav Jeff driving, James navigating.
And that will be a DNF. So a DNF for our first run of the fifth qualifier. And we'll look to move along and as these racers push to make it to the finals. The 03A boat in the water now. This is Full Tilt Racing. They're sponsored by Greasy Rat Garage, Kurt Taylor, Jeff Halstead Photography, Wildlight Motorsport Photography, Richard Ragsdale Photography, and Bud Weddle Image Graphics by Buds. Selden, our driver, Scarlet, his navigator. The green flag is up. And they're off. That's going to be a clean run, a clean run for Full Tilt Racing. Yeah. 53.304 on that run, 53.304. The Jolly Rogers boat making their way up to the starting line now. This is boat 208. It's TJ Burroughs and Keith Brownsberger. They're sponsored by RC Worst Company, Roadkill Grill, Impact Paint and Collision Repair, and Liberty Land Works and Excavation. Green flag is up. It's go time. And that, folks, is a clean run for Jolly Rogers Racing. Coming in at 45.009, that's the best run they've had this weekend in the 208 boat. Folks, next up is the 55 boat, Checkmate, Frank and Kelly Toughmark. They ran a 41.404 last round, so very solid runs. 
and they tell us they're happy to help advertise for any business so take a look at this boat if you can see it with how fast they go and stop by and let's talk about it making their way up to the starting line idling that Chevy engine as they get ready to roll the flag is up here they go It's a clean run. 41.372, 41.372, check mate. The top marks running a 41.372. They have had all clean runs in all five qualifying rounds. So very good weekend here at Extreme Sports Park for the, the checkmate boat. Boat 145 in the water now, making their way to the starting line. This is poor decisions. Jason and Kyle had a fantastic run last round, 45.223 seconds. Can they go even quicker this time? Here they go. decisions able to hold on for another clean run and not only were they able to hold on for that clean run they had their best run of the weekend right there just 43.292 seconds Fear Not Racing coming off of their trailer right now. The 623 boat is sponsored by Next Level Racing Composites, Monty's Racing Repair, FST Carburetors, Jeff Halstead Photography, and Imagine Graphics. Their last run came in at just under 42 seconds. This is Clint Birch driving and Terry Lavelle, his navigator. Green flag is up. And here they go!
Clean run. That's going to be their best run of the weekend. Under 41 seconds that time. 40.973. A great run there. Our next boat making their way into the water for this final round of qualifying for the modified class. It's boat 86, Juggernaut Racing, Jason and Samantha Christ. They've had all clean runs all weekend long. Everything this weekend for them has been very solid. Nothing over, just a hint over 44 seconds. Their last run, just 41.252. Let's see if they open it up for this final round. Here they go. Another awesome clean run for Juggernaut. Just 40.901 on that one. Folks, Platypus Marine is one of the Pacific Northwest's largest indoor full-service shipyards. We specialize in marine refit, repair, and new construction. We provide services to government, commercial, fishing, and private vessels. Platypus Marine Incorporated is your partners for an exceptional project. All right, boat 71 in the water now. This is nut deep. Jay Correa, your driver. Gina Dahl, the navigator. Had their first clean run of the weekend last round, scoring a 54.092. Let's see if they can beat it in this final qualifier. That is going to be a DNF. So the DNF there, just a, a wrong turn towards the end there, leading to the DNF.
All right, the 0-3 B boat in the water now. Some issues in the fourth qualifier where they were unable to start, but looking for a solid, clean run here. This is 0-3 B full tilt racing in the modified class, piloted by Scarlett Taylor with Sophia, our navigator. Here they go. And it is a clean run. Our Island Hopper is going over to check on full tilt, making sure they're all right, hitting that finish line at full tilt and ending up on the bank for a minute. 47.090 as it was a clean run, 47.090. That's the full tilt boat. Full tilt, a handful of sponsors. Hoping that team is all right. They're sponsored by Greasy Rat Garage, Kurt Taylor, Jeff Halstead Photography, Wildlight Motorsport Photography, Richard Ragsdale Photography, and Bud Wendell Image Graphics by Buds. Looks like everybody's okay over there. Full tilt racing with a clean run. Living up to their name. So we're just about wrapped up with this final round of qualifiers in the modified class. Once we're able to safely get full tilt off the course, we'll continue on. Folks, after we wrap up our qualifying rounds this morning, we'll introduce you to our great race teams and after that, We've got some cool lunch entertainment for you coming up as well. We're going to have a jet ski halftime show for you. So stay tuned for that. All right, so they are safely out of the water, rallying up the gang over by the pits. <laughs> Folks, thank you again for joining us here at Extreme Sports Park this year. We're happy to have made some improvements for you to continue to make your experience even better each and every year. Hopefully you've had a chance to check out our new camping section to the west in the direction of that spin-out pool. The new area, it's called Campground West. Go check it out if you haven't already. Also notice our beer garden has expanded over in that direction as well. And we also now allow minors in there as long as they are accompanied by an adult. And you can also access the pits from over there. So some cool stuff there as well. Our island hoppers continuing to help out, getting everything squared away over by the boat launch. And we've got some engines up and running, getting ready to resume for you. Thank you. 
Next up's going to be Purcell Racing coming out for their final qualifying round in the 154B boat here in the modified class. That's James Goldberg and Margaret Purcell. In the water now, they had their first clean run of the weekend in the last qualifying round, ran a 49.032. And they're going to see what they can do to even beat that. Green flag is up. And here they go! They're still, still solid. If they can get rolling again, they have not DNF'd yet. Can they get off the bank? Working on it. Here they go, there they go. They're back up and running. Purcell Racing able to hang in there with a clean run. Fifty-nine point one five seven. Your official time there. Fifty-nine point one five seven. You saw when they got hung up there for a bit. They were still on track. So as the island hoppers started to make their way over, hands went up, saying, "Nope, nope, don't touch them, don't touch them." If they're still on track, they haven't DNF'd yet. But once those island hoppers touch the boat, it's a DNF. So solid job by everybody on the track with that one. And it is a clean run to wrap up qualifier five for the modified class. So now we're going to be moving on to the 400 classes final qualifier as we've got some more engines revving down in the pits. Scheduled to kick things off shortly is going to be the number nine Fat Buddy Racing Boat out of Canada, Jesse and Kaylin Miller. They ran a 41.089 on their last run. That was their best run of the weekend. Seeing if they can even best that coming up here in just a moment. Making their way to their starting line, the flagger raises the green flag. And they're off! Forty one point three six seven, the official time coming down from our official timer. Forty one point three six seven for Jesse and Kaylin Miller of the Fat Buddies. All right, coming off their trailer right now is the Jolly Roger Racing Boat 146A. That's Nicole Brown and Tina Huff. A DNF to start the day today. Looking to try and get a clean run here in the final round of qualifying. They're ready to go. 
and they're off. And how about that is a clean run, 146A, the Jolly Roger. Nicole and Tina with a clean run. Yeah. 43.744, a great final qualifying run for Nicole and Tina in the Jolly Roger boat, running a solid time of 43.744. Boat 625 making their way into the water now. It's another Jolly Roger racing boat. This is Mike Reardon and Madison Worse. They ran a 46.784 in their last round. As we continue on our 400 class. Green flag is up. And there they go. to turn around before they come back and it's going to be a DNF so a little spin out there if they'd have been able to correct and stay on track could have still been a been a solid clean run but because they passed that turn coming back the wrong way it's going to be a DNF Fans, we had a lost phone in the beer garden area. So if you locate a lost phone in the beer garden area, if found, please do your friends here a favor and bring it over to the announcer booth so we can get it back to its rightful owner. So if a lost phone is located in the beer garden, if you want to be a good guy and bring it over, who knows? Maybe its owner will buy you a beer. We also let you know earlier today before the race has started, there was a lost wallet turned in at the announcing booth as well. If you are feeling around your pockets and don't have your wallet, if you're able to come to the announcing booth and identify it, we'll be happy to get it back to you. So as Jolly Roger Racing makes their way back in, coming out next is going to be Fat Buddy Racing. The Punisher boat from Fat Buddy is scheduled to come out next. That's Boat 22, sponsored by Monty's Racing Engines, AFX Machine, Precision Finish, and M&M Glass. 
That's Punisher of Fat Buddy Racing making their way to the starting line right now. Your driver, Phil Miller, with navigator Amy Thomason. Some solid times yesterday, 40 seconds and under for the most part. And just, here they go. Heads up. That's a DNF, but a good photo op opportunity over by the stands over there. Grab your smartphones and snap a pic of the Punisher racing boat. A nice little uh, move there. It's a DNF, but looking good doing it. All right, so our island hoppers have said, okay, guys, you've had enough time to take pictures. We're going to get this boat back in the water and off the track. Let's give a hand to our Canadian friends, though. Say hi to your friends from Canada there. And thank you again, island hoppers. So despite the DNF there, still an awesome run before that for the 22 boat. They ran just a 37.578 in the fourth round of qualifiers. So they've definitely put up some great times this weekend. Another lost phone looking for its parents, folks. A lost phone in the VIP section. So if you find a lost phone in the VIP section, if you could please turn it into us at the announcer booth, we'll be happy to get it back to its owner. So we've got our jet skis helping out our 22 boat to get out of the water there. And speaking of jet skis, we're going to have them for your halftime entertainment coming up right after this qualifying round and after our driver introduction. So be ready for that. They'll put on a pretty cool show for you that we're all excited about. They're truly amazing to watch. The jet skis that we're going to have out here during our lunch break are here from West Coast Surf Riders and the PNW Water X Racer Groups. They've had four races this year in locations all over the state. They can be found on Facebook and are always looking for new riders to join their group. So we're grateful for the few pro riders that are showing up this weekend, having traveled all the way from Aberdeen to help our Island Hopper crew in assisting getting these boats back in the water safely. So go check out one of their competitions and stay tuned for their show coming up here at halftime. Sorry for the quiet there for a second, folks. I've been talking a lot. I needed a drink of water. Are you all staying hydrated out there? Everybody getting taken care of out in the crowd? Enjoying everything so far? Ready for some more racing? All right. All right, so our jet ski friends just getting off of the boat launch. 
He doesn't want to get hit by one of these boats. They go a little fast, so that would not be very fun. Coming up next, get ready for McFarlane Racing. Cletus McFarlane making his way out. Cletus and Spicy Spence, so Cletus McFarlane getting ready for his final qualifier. Green flag is up, and here he goes. Spit it out. DNF, but some very nice twirls going around there, putting on some ballerina moves for the crowd. Cletus McFarlane and Spencer Spice. Or Spicy Spence. Whoops. So it's a DNF, but he still had a very solid, solid last run. He ran a 38.966 in his previous run, so who knows? Maybe he just wanted to show off a little bit for you guys. Island Hoppers, admiring that new boat, saying, hey, I like that. I like Mountain Dew, too. Got any in there? <laughs> I'm getting thirsty, man. Come on. Do the do, dude. All right, Cletus McFarland and Spicy Spence of McFarland Racing. Everybody's safe. They just are going to work on pushing that boat back out. Looks like we're going to call in some reinforcements again. Our jet skiers are going to come help Cletus get out of the water there. Our island hoppers are all right. They're cooling down a little bit. Enjoying the fresh water there. Hey, he might be up and running. Oh. Here he goes, all right. There we are. that written in my program, but I have not gotten clarification. All right, so. After we are able to get McFarland racing back out of the water, looks like they're getting back up on the ramp there. We'll resume here in just a moment. So we'll get things back underway with the 400 class. We're 
right at about the halfway point of this final round of qualifying before we take a little break with you guys. Boat 68 in the water now. It's Rudy Schuler and David Thompson. The steaming Kiwi. They're sponsored by CFO Custom Fabrication Design, Northwest Parts and Equipment, Jameson Law, Bent Blade Heights, and Add Local Value. The green flag is up, and here they go! Clean run. Official time on that one, 44.042, 44.042. So as we're getting closer to the lunch hour, folks, jet skiers for your show that's coming up, be sure that you're near the boat launch because we're coming up quick on lunchtime here after this uh, last round of qualifiers. So we can't wait to see you guys in action. So make sure you're ready to go. Speaking of ready to go, here's Guanaloco in the 21 boat. They're ready to go, making their way to the starting line. Green flag is up. And here they go. That's going to be a DNF. Missed the 10 coming out of the 14, resulting in the DNF. Guano Loco, though, they had a solid run in their last qualifier. They ran a 48.106 in the fourth round qualifier. That's Guano Loco, sponsored by Washington Masonry, Precision Propeller, Bunker Bar, and Pyramid Printing. Lost credit card also turned in here at the announcer booth. Lost credit card. If you misplaced your credit card, if you can identify it, we'll be happy to get it back to you. Rogers Racing headed to the starting line. That's the 285 boat piloted by River Rogers, Ryan Rogers, the navigator. River and Ryan have shaved seconds off of every run they've had this weekend, starting the weekend at a 55 and change at the first qualifier yesterday, down to a best personal time of 42.002 .002 in their last run, and here they go!
And Rogers Racing with a clean run, again giving themselves a new personal best. They've improved every qualifier, 41.596, the official time on that one. Rogers Racing, everybody. Bad Influence making their way into the water now. Bad Influence is sponsored by Jocko Fuel, Order of Man, Origin Manufacturing, Cobalt Computer Services, Body Works, Ram Trucking, Monty's Racing Repair, Imagine Graphics, Industrial Threadworks, and Jet Speed LTD, all proud sponsors of the 156 boat. Green flag is up, and let's go! And Stephen and Randy Church with a clean run there. Forty-two point six seven one, the timing there for bad influence. That's their best time of the weekend. Just a few boats left in the 400 class here. Boat 42 coming off their trailer, making their way to the starting line. Straight sideways is Dan Hatch and Wendy Wright. They had their best run of the weekend in the fourth qualifier. They'll try and beat their own personal best of 43.123. Green flag is up. And here they go! And how about Dan and Wendy there with the clean run? Forty-three point nine two two, your official run time. Forty-three point nine two two, a very good run for straight sideways and boat forty-two. Our next boat. Sponsored by Gateway Materials and Trailers, Rogers Motors, Hot Shot Espresso, Sprint Tech, Superior Construction, RS Racecraft, Weaver Group Limited, Dynamic Designs, and Monster Energy is preventing insanity. That's boat number 27 headed out for their final round of qualifying.
Leighton Lilly, your driver. There he goes. And Leighton Lilly and Cody Holzer with a clean run there. And how about this? 39.880, preventing insanity, 39.880. Looks like 146 is getting ready to make their way up to the starting line. This is one of our Jolly Roger racing boats. This is boat 146B, Dustin Springer and Tina Huff. They had their best run of the weekend last qualifier. They started the day with a 41.209. Can they do even better this time? The green flag is up. Here they go. Clean run. Official time on that one, 44.646, 44.646 for boat 146B, the Jolly Roger. Folks, the 2023 Steel American Sprint Boat Racing Series would like to thank one of our newest sponsors, VP Racing Fuels. Thank you for your support. All right, here come the Psychos. Psycho Racing Boat 151. Coming off a previous time of 46.602, ready to roll. Here they go. Cole Patrick and Theron Weaver with a clean run for Psycho Racing. Coming in at 46.887. 
Just one boat left in the 400 class. Boat 360 in the water now. Jolly Roger racing. And no, folks, it's not all the same boat. We just have a lot of folks representing Jolly Roger racing. They've got a big team that we're happy to have here at Extreme Sports Park. They're making their way up to the starting line. Our flagger is ready. He raises the green flag. And here they go. And there is another clean run for the Jolly Rogers race team. Chris Farmer and Jen Farmer there with a 43.307. And wrapping things up in the 400 series, Live Wire Racing getting that number 02 boat ready. Hailing from Port Angeles, Washington. Matt Denson, your driver. Vaughn Trapp, your navigator. Matt's from Port Hadlock. Vaughn from right here in Port Angeles. Matt's a mechanic. Vaughn, the owner of Trap Contracting Services, LLC. Their sponsors, Trap Contracting Services, LLC. Josh Callender Cornwell Tools. Evans Automotive, Dog House Powder Coating, Earth Tech Roofing and Construction, Gotta Have This, and Maxwell Silver Hammer Construction Incorporated. They're off the trailer, making their way towards the starting line. Their best run this weekend was a 55.902 to finish up things yesterday. Let's see what they can do today. Here they go. Hanging in there, trying to correct. And hung up on the bank. Hands on the boat's gonna be an official DNF. Tried to correct it, came close, but just got hung up on the side there. Perhaps earlier today they might have been able to get back in the water when the water was a couple inches higher, but we've lost so much of that water with these boats spraying those waves for you. Just, just hung up there. So our island hopper is working on helping the live wire boat. See if they can get things started to come back in. All right. Able to get that boat restarted. And they'll head back in towards the boat launch. Live wire racing.
All right, so we're hitting our last series of the final round of qualifying. This is going to be the Unlimited class. However, our first boat out for the Unlimiteds is actually an LS boat. It's going to be the Bad Habit boat. It's boat number 36, piloted by Scott and navigated by Jalen, Scott and Jalen Rapp. Had a DNF to start the day today. Their best run yesterday was a 58.093, seeing what they can do in this final round of qualifiers. And again, our jet ski folks that are planning on performing at halftime, make sure you are around the pit area because this is our last group, our last series of boats before we head to lunch and introduce our race teams. Bad habit, ready to go. The green flag's up, and there they go. Folks, there's a DNF early on there, and they know it. When they were first coming along the outside there, that's the six hole followed by the five hole. They turned into the 13. They wanted to stay along the outside of the course there, but because of that early turn, a DNF for bad habit. So the TNT racing boat scheduled to come out next. That's boat 99M piloted by Tim Cummings with Jacob Sully as his navigator. They weren't able to start in the fourth qualifier. Seeing if they're able to get that boat rolling in this final round of qualifiers. Tim will try to open it up to make his way into the finals as it's been a tough weekend for the 99M boat to this point. Could we get a jet ski operator to the pit immediately, please? Jet ski operator to the pit. All right, looks like Tim's in the water. The TNT racing boat making their way to the starting line, looking for their first clean run of the weekend and their last chance of qualifiers. Green flag is up, and they are off. And it's a DNF. Looks like the boat lost power right out of the gates there, sliding into a DNF. But if you're going to have a DNF, it's nice to make it look good. It's always good when you have a good angle for a picture. So if you aren't able to finish, at least you're able to show off your boat a little bit. So let's give them some love. TNT Racing. Tim Cummings and Jacob Salee. We're just happy to have the Cummings family still here today after our other Cummings man boat was involved in that wreck yesterday. Also folks, we've got our Island Hoppers front and center for this cleanup. So another hand for the Island Hoppers. You see how hard these guys are working today. How about a hand for the Island Hoppers? We appreciate everything you do. And the fans appreciate the free stuff.
working on getting that TNT boat going, seeing if they can get it running. The Island Hoppers have been working hard, so they're saying, hey, if, if you can get this boat running, it'd be really cool if we didn't need to push it. Guys, Lakeside Industries of the Olympic Peninsula Division is a proud sponsor of Extreme Sports Park and would like to welcome sprint boat racers and fans. Come see Lakeside today for all your paving needs on the Olympic Peninsula. And also, Extreme Sports Park would like to thank the many countless volunteers that have come to make this event possible today. We wouldn't be able to do it without you, each and every one of you. So take a moment when you see someone in a staff shirt and just say thanks for all their help. And our island hoppers, they want to thank you, so keep your eyes open. They got some more goodies for you. OSP Sling is also celebrating over 50 years of manufacturing and selling slings to companies around the world. OSP Sling is happy to be able to sponsor, along with other local companies, for the return of ESP and the Sprint Boat Races. TJ Enterprises is a small hometown excavating and traffic business serving Clallam County residents. The services they provide are shed prep, grading for patios, driveway maintenance, brush removal, and field mowing. Call for a free estimate, 360-912-2976. We also want to thank Olympic Electric. Olympic Electric is a proud sponsor of ESP and very community vested. We do commercial, industrial, high voltage, and utility construction. ESP thanks you for all your support here at the park. Also, APS Electric, e ESP would like to thank APS Electric for the many years of support you've given and taking care of all the electrical needs of the park. A huge thank you to Brian, Andy, and Cheryl. Our fans getting a good look at our jet skis here as they're helping TNT out. And we also want to remind fans, outside alcohol is not allowed within the sprint boat fenced area. When drinking within the park, please stay in designated areas. We've got folks here to help maintain these rules. They'll be courteous in reminding you, please be courteous to them. Also, no outside alcohol brought into the event, please. We've got plenty of drinks over in the beer garden. Remember, folks, that when you cheat the system, our owners are liable, so we ask for you to please be respectful and abide by the rules. And speaking of the adult beverages that we have here be sure to join us for northwest beer fest coming up in just a couple of weeks we're gonna have micro brews and beers from all over right here at extreme sports park that's happening on august 25th and 26th we're also gonna have live music for you throughout the entire festival big old covered beer garden and food vendors axe throwing and festive games a maker's market and much more and don't miss out on riding the mechanical bull. That is Northwest Beer Fest happening right here, August 25th and 26th. All right, so TNT Racing will wrap up their weekend as they make it to the finish line, getting a little hand from the folks over by the pits as they get ready to load that boat back up on their trailer. And as soon as that happens, we'll continue on with the last handful of boats in the Unlimited class. That boat that you hear firing up over here, that's Jolly Rogers 39M boat. It's Eric Werner and Don Davis. They had a really solid run under 40 seconds in the fourth round of qualifiers this morning. 39.818, their best time this weekend, 
Looks like they're checking out that TNT boat still down by the launch, trying to make some adjustments, see exactly what went wrong coming out of the gates there. All right, so as they're getting loaded back up on their trailer, here comes the 39M boat off of theirs. Jolly Roger Racing now making their way towards the starting line. All right, here comes our driver, Eric Werner, with his navigator, Don Davis, in the Jolly Roger boat. And here they go. And that, folks, is another clean run for Jolly Roger Racing. the run time there for the 39M in the unlimited class. That is their best run of the weekend for Eric Orner and Don Davis of Jolly Roger Racing. Coming out now, it's the Fat Buddy, number 13, Scott Saxton and Tadra Reichert, hailing from the Great White North. After three clean runs in yesterday's outing, a DNF to start things today. We'll see what they have in store for us in the final round of qualifiers. That green flag is up, and here they go. And the Fat Buddy is putting on a show with a clean run there. Forty-four point six six one, forty-four point six six one. They may have put up our highest waves of the weekend as well there. They were throwing some water out of that track. In the unlimited class this round, an update, boat 91, the Flying Hawaiian will not be running in the final round of qualifiers. But here's Wicked.
Dan Morrison really opening it up here in this final round of qualifiers. Wicked Racing with an exceptional run. Clean run for Wicked Racing. 36.422, what a run for Wicked Racing's Dan Morrison and Sammy Gustafson. That Wicked Boat, sponsored by Steel, Alderson's Auto Body, Doghouse Powder Coating, Pen Print, Ed's Automotive and Machine, and Pelican Fuel, they've got to be happy with what they just saw. All right, folks, we're going to keep on rolling with the Obsession boat, 049, coming out. This is another one of our unlimited class boats, piloted by Robert Cox, Ali Krupp, the Navigator. Here they go. nice on the clean run there. Coming in at under 40 seconds, Obsession with a clean run of 39.509. All right, here comes boat 35 now. This is two Kiwis, Chris Monroe and Brent Scamell. Two Kiwis hailing from New Zealand, the birthplace of sprint boat racing. The green flag is up. And there they go. Two Kiwis with a solid clean run there. 39.036 for the two Kiwis. Okay, folks, we've got just a couple of boats left before we go ahead and take a break to introduce you to our race teams, and then we'll have a little lunch and halftime entertainment for you. If you are liking what you're seeing today and want to support your favorite race team, please head on down to T-Shirt Alley just over here by the pits, not in the pits, but just prior to the pits. Support your favorite Sprint Boat team by wearing their merch. All sorts of awesome teams down here. 
Come check out what they have to offer. All sorts of cool stuff. Several new vendors as well up in the upper vendor area, including Northwest Nuggets, and they donate a portion of the proceeds to help military and first responders selling ESP attire and ASB merchandise, along with many other items. Come and check out all they've got to offer. So if you need to get up and stretch your legs here in a minute when we head to lunch, there's some really awesome vendors for you to check out. Psycho Racing in the water now as Kyle and Brooklyn Patrick make their way over to the starting line. Coming off their best run of the weekend in the, in the previous qualifier. Looks like they're ready. The green flag's up. And there they go. Really opening it up to start things off. Out of the gates real hot. And how about that clean run? They came flying out of the gates there. Very nicely done. 37.067, 37.067. What a run for Psycho Racing's 151 M boat here in the Unlimiteds. In our final boat in the unlimited class, in our final round of qualifying with their last chance to make it to finals, it's the Jeepers Creepers boat, 66M. Dylan Cummings, your pilot. Jason Salee, your navigator. Again, a wicked crash that they were involved in yesterday, but back out here today, they'll look to push their way into the finals in the last chance right here. Green flag is up. And there they go. And that's a clean run, Jeepers Creepers, wrapping up our qualifiers with a clean run with an official time of 49.044. That's 49.044. So, folks, that is going to wrap up our five rounds of qualifying that we have held over the past day and a half. We're going to go ahead and do a sponsor ride before we introduce our drivers. I have not been given any information on that. So the sponsor boat that we come in, have coming out here, this will be Maria. So we told you a little bit about Maria yesterday. Maria Hines, age 57, she's from La Roslyn, Washington. She was with Dump Truck Company the last 25 years, retired in December of 2022, 
and she's looking for a new hobby. She saw her first race three years ago and said, where can I buy a car with no support from the other half? Now she's living in Montana, building dreams with Mr. Explosive, and she would love to get into a new hobby. She saw these boats and said, I want to crack at it. So we've got our American Sprint Boat Racing sponsor boat coming out with Maria so she can take a ride around the track and see if maybe this is going to be her next new hobby. All right, Maria, getting ready to experience the thrill of ASB. I see her talking to her driver there, looking excited. They're making their way up to the starting line, getting the full experience. The green flag is up. Here goes Maria. It's all right. It's all right. I bet you know you got to give Maria the full experience there. Can't just do a clean run right out of the gate. You got to know what it's like. So is that Maria driving? Is that Maria driving? It is. Awesome. Hey, solid run. Not a clean run, but a solid run. Awesome job, Maria. So our island hopper is also putting out the full court press for Maria. Who knows, maybe she did this on purpose. She saw her uh, island hopper crew and was like, ooh, let's, uh, let's get a closer look at these fellas. I'm just going to, oops, oops, I accidentally ended up on the beach. I need some help, boys. All right, Maria is back in the water. Maria still wrapping. Okay, she's done looking at her eye candy. She's getting back going. Yeah, we're gonna do them right after the sponsor rides. Uh, drivers are just gonna uh, walk out and then come on back. So if drivers wanna start lining up. Maria, everybody. Maria Hines from Roslyn, Washington. Looking into getting involved. Okay, folks, they're going to do a driver's introduction here in just a little bit. They're doing some sponsorized, but I need to go try to fix our 
other camera and make some other changes. So I will probably be shutting down the audio. So they, well, I'll leave it up for driver introductions, but then I need to turn down and mute the audio so because that, they're going to play some music during the lunch break. And we don't want to get a copyright strike on our channels or on Cletus McFarland's channel. So just know uh, we will be muting the audio during that driver introduction or right after the driver introduction uh, during the lunch break. All right. Thanks, folks. Our next sponsor ride, you can find it on YouTube. We're pleased to have Brecky Breck join us today. And drivers, we're going to want you to meet at the starting line gate for driver's introduction. So it's going to be the starting line gate if you want to start lining up over there. So one more sponsor ride. It's going to be Brecky Breck in a moment. Maria says, I'm not done with this boat yet, guys. I like this. So you can find Brecky on YouTube. She puts together weekly educational videos for kids. Happy to join us here today. She's been filming throughout the weekend so she can show and introduce kids on YouTube to the sport of sprint boat racing. I had a chance to meet Brecky and her husband this morning. Very friendly folks, so we're happy to have us with them today. And like we said, Brecky here today, she likes to introduce new stuff to kids. She loves to learn about how, about new people, exciting places, colors, shapes, numbers, words, and much more. She goes on many adventures, this being her latest one. And now she gets to ride in one of our American Sprint Boat Racing boats. You can find her on YouTube at, at Brecky Breck. She's got 110,000 subscribers in 121 videos so far, and pretty soon 122 once she gets to show off her sprint boat ride. Here we go. That is a clean run for our sponsor ride, Brecky Breck, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right, folks, as soon as we have got our sponsor ride loaded back up, we're going to start our driver introduction. So drivers, if you are not there already, please report to the starting line gate so we can get you introduced and then get you some lunch. Looks like a lot of love for Brecky Wreck down there by the pits. Fans with their phones out, recording the YouTube sensation.
All right, drivers to the starting line gate, please. Drivers to the starting line gate. Island Hoppers, you guys have been working real hard. Grab yourselves a bite. Give you a break for a little bit. As they make their way out for a break, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give a hand to our Island Hoppers. The Island Hoppers shaking hands with our drivers down here, getting thanks. Our driver teams showing their appreciation to these guys. And we'll be introducing you to these awesome drivers and our navigators in just one second here. All right, driver introductions coming up here in just one second. Well, they... guys, we want to show you off to our fans. Please hurry on up. Hop to it, drivers, to the starting line gate. Folks, while we're getting them lined up, let me tell you about your lunch options that you have here. Again, we have got vendors throughout the park for you. So be sure to check out our vendors up on the berm in the food court. Also, we've got uh, Southern Nibble over by the beer garden and Olympus Hot Dogs right over here by the pits. When I was at the show and shine on Friday night, I counted 37 votes. So we have got a lot of folks lining up to introduce you to. But we're just going to have them do a quick pageant walk for you while we do a real quick introduction so that everybody can get a nice little lunch break in, followed by some jet ski action. I can hear him rounding up the cattle down there. It looks like we're just about ready to get going. What do we think down there, guys? Does it look like we got just about everybody ready to go? You ready to roll? Mom, Dad, the kids are hungry. We want to get you out there and introduce you. Folks want to eat. All right. Well, let's go ahead and introduce you to our different racing teams. Guys, if you want to go ahead and start making your way out here, or go ahead and just run off an introduction, give the crowd a wave when we announce your name. Okay, folks, so here come our drivers and navigators. Yep. 
while everyone's making their way out, another very important group of folks that we want to thank is our Jeep crew out here. They've been loading and unloading boats all weekend, so thank you so much to our hardworking Jeep crew. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a look at your 2023 Steel American Sprint Boat Race drivers and navigators. Just giving a quick wave to the crowd. All sorts of teams here. We've got Purcell Racing's Jeff Purcell and James Goldberg. We've got Selden Gleb and Scarlett Taylor, a full tilt. TJ Burroughs and Keith Brownsberger of Jolly Rogers. Way she goes, Jeremy Souza and Jessica Law. Frank and Kelly Toffmark of Checkmate. Jason Perkins and Kyle Bells of Poor Decisions. Fear Not with Clint Birch and Terry Lavelle. Juggernaut Racing's Jason Christ and Samantha Christ. Jay Correa and Gina Dahl of Nut Deep. Scarlett Taylor and Sophia Taylor of Full Tilt Racing. And also Purcell Racing's James Goldberg and Margaret Purcell. In our 400s today, we've got for you Jesse Miller and Kaylin Miller of Fat Buddy, Nicole Brown and Tina Huff of Jolly Roger Racing, also with Jolly Roger, Mike Reardon and Madison Worse, Fat Buddy Racing's Phil Miller and Amy Thomason, McFarlane Racing's Cletus McFarlane and Spicy Spencer, the Steaming Kiwis, Rudy Schuler and David Thompson, Guano Loco with Larry Steele and Sammy Steele. Rogers Racing's River Rogers and Ryan Rogers. Bad Influences, Stephen Church and Randy Church. Dan Hatch and Wendy Wright represent Straight Sideways. Preventing Insanities, Leighton Lilly and Cody Holzer. Jolly Roger Racing's Dustin Springer and Tina Huff. Psycho Racing's Cole Patrick and Theron Weaver. Another Jolly Roger Racing duo, Chris Farmer and Jen Farmer. Livewire, Matt Denson and Vaughn Trapp. Bad Habit Racing, Scott and Jalen Rapp. TNT Racing's Tim Cummings and Jacob Salee. Jolly Roger Racing's Eric Werner and Don Davis. The Flying Hawaiian Dustin Chase and Jamie Chase. Fat Buddy Racing Scott Saxton and Tadra Reichert. Dan Morrison and Sammy Gustafson with Wicked. Bootlegger Racing's Ron Gallagher and Josh Reynolds. Obsession Racing's Robert Cox and Ali Krupp. Two Kiwis, Chris Monroe and Brent Scamell. Psycho Racing's Kyle Patrick and Brooklyn Patrick. And with Jeepers Creepers, Dylan Cummings and Jason Sully. That, folks, are your racers and navigators for today's 2023 Steel American Sprint Boat Racing Competition. Thank you, drivers and navigators. A big round of applause. All right, folks, we'll go ahead and give you a few minutes to relax, grab a bite to eat. We'll throw on a few tunes for you while our... So he's going to be turning on the music. I went ahead and turned down the audio. So we'll be back with you shortly, folks.
So, folks, if you're just joining us, we are in a lunch break, and they are playing copyrighted music over the track speakers. So we've got that turned down so we don't get any copyright strikes with Cletus McFarland's channel or our own ASBR Pro Racing channels. So just so you know, we're going to be back. There's nothing wrong with your computer. We just have the audio muted, as you can see by the uh, logos on the screen telling you so much. But we're probably another 30 minutes. We'll be back to racing here at the Extreme Sports Park in Port Angeles, Washington with the uh, final elimination rounds.
All right, folks, we're still in the middle of our lunch break. If you are watching on Facebook, one of the 29 viewers, please, please share it out if you can. We're headed in the best part of the racing for the whole weekend. Uh, give us a thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube, either on Cletus McFarland 2 channel or Cletus 2 McFarland, I should say, or on the ASBR Pro Racing Series channel, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Let everybody know, all your friends and family, that we are on the air and the best part of this is yet to come. We've still got at least two hours of racing. This is when all the boats will be pushing it to the very maximum and it's when you're most likely to see a crazy crash. Ready to see some high octane action with our finals this afternoon. All right, Island Hoppers, if you want to start getting ready to roll. Race teams, if you want to start getting ready to roll, we want to get things rolling within the next five minutes or so here. And folks, we have a very special announcement with some special folks in the house this afternoon. Something that we're so excited to let you know about the Steel American Sprint Boat Racing Series. American Sprint Boat Racing is very pleased to announce that we have come to an agreement for a brand new track at the state, at the fairgrounds in Yakima that we're gonna start working on very soon. So keep an eye out. We've got a new track coming to Yakima for American Sprint Boat Racing next year. 
We're really excited to continue to grow this sport, and we couldn't do it without your support. So thank you so much for coming out here. And also, thank you to the city of Yakima. We're very excited to bring sprint boat racing to the Yakima Valley. And you can hear our folks in the crowd. Keep an eye out for those island hoppers. Looks like they're throwing out some cool, awesome gear for you right now. And don't forget to check out all of the great sprint boat racing gear we have throughout the park. We all greatly appreciate you and your support. All right, folks, our Jeep crew is getting boats ready. We're going to be getting started. <clears throat> We're going to be getting started here in just one minute. All right, folks, they're getting revved up and ready to go down in the pits. Momentarily, we'll get things started with the final eight in the modified class. All right, folks, it's time for some finals. Are you ready for the modified class finals for our first race of the 2023 Steel American Sprint Boat Racing Series? Kicking it off, it's going to be Full Tilt Racing's Selden Glebe and Scarlett Taylor in the 03A boat. Here they go.
and that is a clean run. A clean run by Full Tilt Racing to kick things off. 51.066 seconds, the verified time. Now it's the 154 B boat on their way out. That's Purcell Racing. James Goldberg, your driver. Margaret Purcell, your navigator. Making their way to the starting line. Our flagger has the green flag up. And they're off. And that's a clean run by Purcell Racing, the 154B boat, 45.297, the official time, 45.297, Purcell Racing, ladies and gentlemen. So that last run there by Purcell Racing, that 45.297, saving the best for last. That was their best run so far this weekend. Our next votes for the finals getting ready to go. Working hard down in the pits, down at the boat launch, getting everything prepared. Right now it's the O3B boat for full tilt Scheduled to go next. They're on the clock. Full Tilt's 03B boat is driven by Scarlett Taylor, navigated by Sophia Taylor. Sounds like they're up and ready to go, just coming off of their trailer right now. All right, 03B is in the water. They had their best time of the weekend in the final qualifier. They ran a 47.090. We'll see what they're able to do here in the finals. Green flag is up. And full tilt racing is off and running.
and it's full tilts 03 B boat with a clean run as well. Forty six point eight two three, the official kind of time coming down, forty six point eight two three. Jolly Rogers 208 boat is scheduled to come out next. After our first three boats in the eight cut, it's currently Purcell Racing's 154B boat that holds the best time. That's James Goldberg and Margaret Purcell with a 45.297. Here comes TJ Burroughs and Scarlett Taylor representing Jolly Rogers 208 team. TJ and Scarlett making their way to the starting line. The green flag is up. And Jolly Rogers off. It's a clean run. We have a new leader. The official time of 43.864 for Jolly Rogers, boat 208. Now in the lead with a 43.864. Folks, we're missing a VW Passat key has been misplaced. VW Passat key has been lost. If you locate a VW Passat key out there in the crowd, if you could please turn it in up here at the announcer booth, we'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Next up in the modified class is going to be boat 145, Poor Decisions. That's driven by Jason Perkins, navigated by Kyle Bells as they make their way off of their trailer and into the boat launch. One forty-five on the five minute clock now. And nope, oh, they're ready, here they come. They had their best time of the day in the fifth, or best time of the weekend in the fifth qualifier when they ran a 43.292. Let's see what poor decisions has for us here in the finals. Jason and Kyle itching to go. Green flag is up. Poor decisions is off and running. And it's a clean run. So
So poor decisions with a very, very solid run there here in the eight cut. They take the lead now with a 42.645. So now we've got poor decisions leading the modified class with a 42.645. Now we've got Checkmate Racing coming out in the 55 boat. It's Frank Toffmark and Kelly Toffmark. The 55 boat checkmate racing up and ready to go. The green flag is up. And now they're off. The 55 boat check may with a clean run. And that's 41.542, 41.542. Now that's the quickest time in the eight cut so far. The way these finals are going to work in each of the three classes is the top four times in the eight cut are going to move on to the four cut. The four cut will go with the top two times to the championships. So just a couple boats left here in the modified class. Also, to the gentleman that was missing that VW Passat key, it has been turned in at the announcer booth. Fear Not Racing now approaching the starting line. That's the 623 boat, Clint Birch and Terry Lavelle. Looking to make their way to the four cut. The green flag is up. And fear not, gets going. Fear not, another clean run. Forty point eight six six, the official time there. So fear not decides they want the best time here in the eight cut for the modifieds. Team Juggernaut's going to be making their way out next. Their driver, Jason, he's a lieutenant at Burley Fire Department. He's the owner of Extreme Speed Machine. Navigator, Samantha Christ, she is a, a does marketing at Red Ox Bionutrients and is also the owner of Juggernaut Customs. A few fun facts about them. So Jason was Navigator since 2015. Uh, Grown-ups, look up Juggernaut on Urban Dictionary for a giggle. 
their race wins. They took first place in Super Modifieds at Web Slow in June of 23, and also first place in the Super Modifieds at Ontario Speedway in July and August of 2022. Juggernaut racing the 86 boat. Again, this is Jason and Samantha Christ looking to push their way into the forecut. And they're off. And that is a clean run, folks. A clean run for the Team Juggernaut. All right, a solid, solid run, 40.560. All right, folks, we'll give you the final four for that modified class in just a moment. We're going to move on to the eight cut for the 400 class now. We've got the one or the 360 boat out in the water to start things off. Here's the Jolly Rogers, Chris Farmer, and Jen Farmer, and they're off. And that's a clean run to start things off in the 400 class. 41.638 your time, 41.683. Six three eight, excuse me. Next out's gonna be our 42 boat straight sideways. That's Dan Hatch and Wendy Wright. Their best time during the qualifier runs were 43.123. Straight sideways at the starting line, ready to go. Green flag is up. And straight sideways. Taken off.
hanging in there. And it's a clean run for straight sideways. And the verified official time, 43.794 for the 42 boat straight sideways with a 43.794. Bad influence, getting ready in the boat launch. This is boat number 156, Stephen Church, your driver. Randy Church, your navigator. And the green flag goes up. And they're going. Bad influence coming out of the gates hot. Hugging an island, but keeping control. And that is a clean run, bad influence. Forty two point two four zero, very solid run from the bad influence boat one fifty six. Next up in the four hundred class is going to be boat two eighty five. as they prepare on the boat launch. Rogers Racing Boat 285, River Rogers and Ryan Rogers. And they're off. Clean run and a very solid time on that from the Pure Insanity Boat, Rogers Racing Boat 285. That's a 40.919. That is the top time so far in the 400 class here in the eight cut. Fat Buddy Racing coming out next in the nine boat. This is Jesse Miller and Kalen Miller.
making their way to the starting line. They're in the water. Again, that's Fat Buddy Racing, boat number nine. Putting together some very good times during qualifiers. Let's see what Jesse and Kaylin have in store for us now. The green flag is up. And Fat Buddy is off and running. Fat Buddy racing with a clean run there in the number nine boat. 41.255, 41.255. Jesse and Kalen Miller in the Fat Buddy number nine boat. Preventing Insanity is going to be coming out next in the competition. That one's Leighton Lilly and Cody Holzer. It's the 27 boat as Fat Buddy gets loaded up. Leighton and Cody ready to go. And the flag is raised. Preventing insanity off to the races. And that is a clean run, folks. Thirty-eight point six six two. Thirty-eight point six six two. Your verified time on that. That is the top time in the four hundred class so far by preventing insanity. Cletus McFarland and Spicy Spence now making their way towards the starting line for McFarland Racing. They're in the 1776 boat. Doing a quick little spin on the boat launch as they make their way towards the starting line. Cletus ready to let her rip. Green flag is up. And they're off. in there, catching a couple of islands, but trying to hang on. And Cletus McFarland with a clean run for McFarland Racing.
Our timer is doing some verification. We'll be back to racing in just one second here. All right, the official time on that is 39.086 for McFarland Racing. 39.086, it is their official time. Just one more boat to go in the eight cut for the 400 class. We'll have them out in just a moment. Technical crew just squaring some things away. As we make our way in the finals, wanting to make sure we've got everything down to the millisecond. But that gives us a quick minute to thank a few more of our sponsors, such as Aeroseptic Pumping of Port Angeles and Copycat Graphics and Signs. Also McMenamin and McMenamin, Evergreen Collision, Straight View Credit Union. Matt Droik at State Farm, Les Schwab Tires, JJC Resources LLC, APS Electrical Contractors, Randy's Auto Sales, Morrison Farms in Mount Vernon, Washington, Penn Print Incorporated, and Burden West, just to name a, for a few. Bourbon West, just to name a few. We also told you a little bit earlier about our New Zealanders that are here today. Our New Zealanders in the Unlimited class, just a little more about them. You'll see them in just a few minutes here. So that was Team Kiwi. That's Team Boat 35, Team Kiwi. Brent Skamel, he's from Winton, New Zealand, a Honda motorcycle dealer navigating and jet sprinting since 2006. He's an ex-motocross racer. Usually... Chris Monroe's navigator for 16 years prior is his wife. Katie, Katie though, could not get in today for this race due to some visa issues, so Brent stepped in. You'll be able to see Brent with, or excuse, excuse me, <laughs> Chris Monroe's navigator for 16 years. I gotta read my chicken scratches, trying to fill time. <laughs> All right. Technical crews just getting everything verified to continue. Phil Miller and Amy Thomason itching to go in the 22 Fat Buddy boat. Currently, the best time in the eight cut here for 400 class is Leighton Lilly and Cody Holzer with a 38.662. All right. Fat Buddy Racing's Boat 22 makes their way towards the starting line. The green flag is up. And here they go.
And that is a clean run, and what a time on that one. Thirty seven point nine three nine thirty seven point nine three nine. That's the top time in the eight cut fat buddy racings, Phil Miller and Amy Thomason. So all clean runs so far. All right, so our top four, 146B, it will be the first out. That's Jolly Rogers Racing. Uh, or excuse me, so getting more verification. Is it 360? Yeah. The boats are so loud, hard to hear them through. So. so Jolly Rogers 360 boat will be the first one out in the four cut, followed by McFarland Racing 1776, Preventing Insanities 27, and Fat Buddies 22. The Unlimited class kicking off now, and they're off. And that's a clean run. Official time on that last one, 45.632. Yeah. Fat Buddy Racing making their way to the starting line now. It's Scott Saxon and Tadra Reichert in the 13 boat. Green flag is up. And they're off! And they're able to wave off before they get going. So that, folks, is a wave off, meaning that they knew there was an issue right before they were getting started. So they're going to be afforded a restart as they waved themselves off before they got started. So Fat Buddy coming around to give it another shot. And they're off.
And that is a clean run, folks. Fat Buddies Racing Boat 13 coming in with a 44.271 here in the eight cut. Robert Cox and Allie Krupp will be coming out next in the Obsession Boat. That's boat number 49. Before they come out, we have an update on the 400 class. The true order for the four cut is going to be in starting off boat 285, Pure Insanity. They had a time of 40.919. Then McFarland Racing at a 39.086, followed by Preventing Insanity at a 38.662 and rounding out the top four in the four spot will be Fat Buddy at 37.939. Obsession Racing ready to go. The green flag is up. And here they go. And that will be a DNF. The reason for the DNF there, coming around the corner there, turned into the 14 instead of staying along the outside into the four. So that is going to be a DNF, a did not finish for Obsession Racing. Continuing on with the Unlimited class, coming out shortly, the Flying Hawaiian, Boat 91. Keep an eye on this boat, folks, if you're interested in purchasing a Sprint boat, as this is currently for sale. The Flying Hawaiian boat, piloted by Justin Chase with Jamie Chase, his navigator. The Flying Hawaiian's best time to this point was in the fourth qualifier. They ran a 39.082. All right, green flag is up. The Flying Hawaiian off and running. And that is going to be a DNF. The DNF, they were wanting to take a left out of that 10 turn there up into the four hole instead, took a right into three. That's the reason for the DNF on that one. So back-to-back -back DNFs here in the unlimited class in the eight cut, a DNF by Obsession followed by a DNF from the Flying Hawaiian boat. Our next boat out's gonna be the 39M boat, Jolly Roger Racing's Eric Werner and Don Davis. The Jolly Roger team talking things over, making sure everything's solid and good to go. And they are in the water, boat 39M in the water and ready to go. They'll make their way towards the starting line.
Eric and Don representing Jolly Roger Racing. The green flag is up. And Jolly Roger Racing taking off. A clean run and a very solid one at that for Jolly Roger Racing in that 39M boat. 40.141, 40.141. By far the top time to this point in the unlimited class here in the eight cut. So Team Kiwi is going to be heading out now. Started to tell you a little bit about them earlier. So Chris Monroe, our driver, his navigator for 16 years prior to this, his wife Katie. Katie is not able to make it here today due to a visa issue, so Brent stepped in. Brent Scamill from Winton, New Zealand. He's a Honda motorcycle dealer navigating in jet sprinting since 2006, an ex-motocross racer. Filling in with Chris today, so Chris and Brent, showing off what New Zealand can do as they make their way up to the starting line. The green flag is up. And Team Kiwi is off. DNF coming in hard, going for that finals look. Caught that corner and ended up on the beach and into the fence. Our island hoppers taking a look, checking in on our New Zealanders, making sure they're all right. How's everybody doing? Can I get a thumbs up if everybody's all right out there? Island Hoppers assessing the situation. Looks, looks like we're good, looks like we're good. All right, Team Kiwi. Putting in 110%. And sometimes when you're going at that kind of speed, these things happen. And that is why we have those fences there. So our island hoppers will go ahead and Get that boat back to home base. How about a hand for Team Kiwi all the way from New Zealand? So an update on the unlimited class so far in the eight cut. TNT Racing started things off with a solid clean run. Also with a clean run, Fat Buddy. And Jolly Rogers with a clean run.
Island Hoppers, is that fence okay over there? Do we need uh, anything reinforced out there? They're double checking. Inspecting the fence, making sure we're good to go. Everybody over there got an up close and personal look at that 35 boat. All right, that's a thumbs up from our official. Looks like we're ready to resume. The Island Hopper is returning to their positions, and when uh, we are all ready to go, it's going to be Psycho Racing coming out, the 151M boat. Kyle Patrick, your driver. Brooklyn Patrick, your navigator. And the 35 boat has made it home safely back to the boat launch. Our island hoppers giving some love over to that area that had that up close and personal look at the boat, tossing in some goodies. All right, boat 151M is in the water. That's Psycho Racing. Kyle and Brooklyn Patrick, they put up some really good times this weekend. Their best one coming in the final qualifier at 37.067. Let's see what they have in store for us here in the eight cut. Green flag up as our racers are ready. And they are off. Coming out hot, getting hung up a little bit on the island, but they still are on course. And that is going to be a clean run for Psycho Racing. They, they came so hard out of the gate that they got hung up on that island on the first turn. However, able to stick to the rotation and get rolling again. So that's going to be a clean run of 44.812 for Psycho Racing. And now wrapping things up in the eight cut for the Unlimited class, it's going to be Wicked Racing's Dan Morrison and Sammy Gustafson in your 10 boat for Wicked Racing. Green flag is up. Here goes Dan.
about that run, folks, a clean run. The official time there, an amazing 36.081 for Wicked Racing. All right, so the running order for the four cut in the unlimited class is going to be the 151M Psycho Racing Boat, followed by Fat Buddy Racing in the 13 boat, the Jolly Roger in the 39M boat, and Wicked Racing, which we just saw, will go fourth in the four cut for the unlimited class. We're going to move on to the four cut for our modified class in just a moment. Kicking things off in the four cut for the modifieds, it's Poor Decisions, the 145 boat. Jason Kirkins and Kyle Bells, they ran a 42.645 back in the eight cut. And here they go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a clean run. So Poor Decisions is going to shave more than a second off of the time they posted in the eight cut. That's a 41.576. The 55 boat now on their way out. This is checkmate Frank and Kelly Toffmark. <laughs> they had the third best time in the eight cut. That was a 41.542. Frank and Kelly are ready to go, idling up to the starting line. If we get a chance, we'll go ask them for some more shirts. The green flag is up. Yes, yes. And here they go. Checkmate with a clean run. Forty one point one nine one, the verified official time, forty one point one nine one for checkmate.
Fear not in the water now. That's about 623. Clint Birch and Terry Lavelle. They had an awesome 40.866 last time. They want to make it to the final two. They're going to have to beat a 41.576. Green flag is up. Fear not on their way out. And they do it with a clean run. Forty point eight zero three, the official time on that. Forty point eight zero three. That's the top time right now in the four cut for the modified class. So Team Juggernaut in the water now. That's the 86 boat. They'll need to beat the 41.191 to make it into the final rounds. This team established in 2019 has got a couple of wins under their belt already, taking first place in the Super Mod Modifieds at Web Slow in June of 23 and first place in the Super Modifieds in Ontario. And that was in July and August of 2022. Clean run, Team Juggernaut. All right, so that is verified as a 40.597. That's going to put Juggernaut in the finals. So the finals for your modified class coming up soon, it's going to be Fear Not out first. They had a 40.803, followed by Team Juggernaut, who just ran the 40.597. We'll see them in the finals shortly for the modified class. All right, heading into the four cut of our 400 class, the Rogers Racing Boat, Pure Insanity, the 285 boat, River Manning the Boat, Ryan the Navigator, they ran a 40.919 in the eight cut. And they're ready to go. Green flag goes and they're off. And that is another clean run.
40.812 for pure insanity, 40.812. All right, folks, they ran a 39.086 in the eight cut. Here comes Cletus McFarlane and Spicy Spence for McFarlane Racing in the 1776 boat, unloading off of their trailer right now and making their way to the starting line, hoping to push their way towards finals contention. Cletus and Spencer ready to go. The green flag is up. McFarland Racing is off to the races. DNF going to check on everybody out there hard into the fence. He's okay though. We've got a thing of thumbs up for Team McFarland. They're all right. The fence, I'm not so sure about. The fans lending a hand or island hoppers out there trying to. Push that boat back into the course. If you've seen his YouTube channel, you know that Cletus doesn't do anything less than 120%. So our fence just learned that the hard way. So what we're going to do, folks, we're going to work on helping Cletus and Spencer get that boat off of that fence and then we're gonna stick a hay bale out there to reinforce things. All right, how about a hand for McFarland Racing? Cletus McFarland and Spicy Spencer. All right, folks, while we're working on getting that boat taken care of and mending that fence, we have a very special anniversary wish to pass along. Happy 45th anniversary, Chuck and Lorraine. They're out here at the track today celebrating 45 years. Chuck and Lorraine, happy anniversary. All right, so we got our jet ski rescue team out to help with that boat. And take a look at that fence, folks. You can see by that steel sign there on the fence, you can see exactly where the nose of McFarland's Racing's boat went right through. You can see with this repair, folks, all the work that goes in here. Got our repair team headed out, doing a little work on this fence. <laughs> the 
the McFarland team saying hi to some fans. All right, so we've got a handful of island hoppers looking at that fence. A few island hoppers coming back out as well. It almost looks like they might be getting a couple goodies out of the middle of there, her folks, too. That's a big hay bale. We'll get those repairs for you in just a second here. Folks, while we're doing our repairs, I have a special guest up here that both I want to introduce you to. This is Peter Cooey coming to us from New Zealand. Does all sorts of hard work involved with our ASBR teams. Peter, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. Uh, thanks, folks. Um, yeah, we've uh, got a few boats racing out here, and Cletus is one of them. And uh, for those that watch a bit of jet sprinting on the live stream, that used to be the Monster Energy boat. Um, yeah, so... Uh, We've got uh, Chris Monroe in the Kiwi boat, racing out there in Suhu boat, and now the Rogers family, uh, yeah, with Young River out there in his first event, doing a great job, and uh, yeah, just like to say, you know, every time we come over here to America, it's 20 hours on the plane, you wonder why you do it, but you, you get here, and uh, and you know, all your people are just so so generous as hosts, and we, uh, for example, we hired a car for the couple of weeks that we're over here, and we get here, and Ron Gallagher and Alma, they're um, like, that ain't happening. You can go and cancel that, and you're taking my truck, my pickup truck. You know? So I've been driving around a truck that's the size of a bus in New Zealand and loving it. Awesome. Glad you're having a good time. What's it like uh, been over the years as you've seen jet sprint boats starting to take off here in the States? How is that coming from New Zealand, where it originated at? How has the evolution been over on this side? It, it's been, uh, I mean, it's, what I can tell you is jet sprinting or sprint boat racing in America is better now than it's ever been, and uh, that, that is absolute. You know, the quality of the teams, the venues like this, this is, where you know, world-class venue, and, uh, and it's just getting better and better, and it's great to see that new energy and new blood coming into the sport, and uh, they're doing a great job. The sport's in, you know, in good shape. So, um, you know, we're working with, the, we've been over here and raced at each of the world championships over the years. So, you know, we've got a lot of American friends with a fair bit of experience racing uh, over this side of the world as well, which has just been brilliant. And uh, as I say, you know, your boats are getting quicker and quicker all the time, and I'm sure you guys can see that too. Absolutely. Well, we're going to get back to our finals here. Thank you so much, though, for joining us, Peter. Thanks for coming over and, you know, lending your wisdom to American sprint boat racing. Great to have you. Brilliant. Thanks, folks. Take care. All right. 27 boat now in the water as we pick things back up. This is Preventing Insanity's Leighton Lilly and Cody Holzer as they make their way to the starting line, and they are off.
That's a clean run. Folks, if we get your attention for a moment, please, we've got a little boy that we're trying to get back in touch with mom. Six years old, right? Yeah. Six-year-old Kenneth. If you're around six-year-old Kenneth looking for his mom, we're over here at the announcer booth. Official time on that last run was 39.142. The family was headed out towards the back parking lot. And Kenneth is uh, trying to get back in touch with his mom. If you see Kenneth. And that's a clean run. Fat Buddy Racing, the 22 boat with a clean run. We have a parent up at the announcing booth with a missing child. Looking for a six-year-old uh, named Kenneth. You say he's blonde-haired? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to locate six-year-old Kenneth, blonde hair. If you see Kenneth, if you could please help him make his way to the announcing booth. All right, so for the 400 class in the finals, it's going to be Preventing Insanity, who ran a 39.142, squaring off against Fat Buddy that just ran a 37.957. About 151 in the water now at Psycho Racing, and they're off. And that's a clean run. 36.90, 36.90. So is there anything else I should do regarding this missing child besides those announcements I've been making? All right, Fat Buddy racing out now in the 13 boat. It's Scott Saxton. Here he goes.
right, so the Fat Buddies find the beach for a DNF. Folks, while our island hoppers are assisting with the Fat Buddy 13 boat there, we want to wish another special anniversary out there. Happy 28th anniversary to Sana and Andy. And thank you so much for joining us today. All right, folks, very positive news to pass along. Our little boy and mom have been reunited, so thank you so much for your help, ASB. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your family involvement and for your community involvement. We really appreciate you being part of our family here at Extreme Sports Park. All right, our island hoppers wanting to make sure that they can get out as much cool stuff to you as they can before things wrap up here at the park this afternoon. So keep an eye out. They're passing out some cool items over there. After we get the Fat Buddy boat back to the ramp, we're going to continue things on with... Eric Werner and Don Davis in the Jolly Roger boat. That's the boat 39M. They ran a 40.414 in their last round in the eight cut. All right, Frisbee's coming out. Ooh. All right, so we've got the Fat Buddy boat back to its rightful home, or its temporary home while it's visiting here in the States. All right, so Jolly Roger Racing in the 39M boat, revving up over at the boat launch. They'll be out here in just one moment. All right, the green flag is up. Eric and Don are ready, and they're off.
it's a clean run. Thirty six point six two nine. It's official. So Jolly Roger Racing leading the pack in the four cup for the unlimited class after that awesome run by the thirty nine M boat piloted by Eric Werner with Don Davis as the navigator. All right, he ran an amazing 36.081 in the eight cut. Wicked Racing's Dan Morrison and Sammy Gustafson making their way to the starting line. The time to beat for them to make it to the finals, 36.900. So as awesome as his last run was, he's going to have to stay right there to keep going. Green flag is up. And they're off. So that was a DNF. Pulling hard, but Wicked Racing with the DNF. Coming out hot. But he took a wrong turn, resulting in the DNF. So he did boast the top time we've seen so far this weekend back in the eight cut with the 36.081, but Wicked Racing with the DNF there. The finals, we're going to see Psycho Racing and the Jolly Roger 39M boat in the finals for the Unlimited class coming up shortly. Now it's time to start the final round for your modified class. So in this final round... It all comes down to two. We're going to have Fear Not Racing coming out. Boat 623, Clint Birch and Terry Lavelle. Ready to give it 110%. The green flag is up. And they are off. And it's a clean run in the finals for Fear Not Racing. Forty point three two five. Your official time in the final rounds for the six twenty three boat. That's Fear Not Racing's Clint Birch and Terry Lavelle with a time of forty point three two five. So our last boat in the modified class competition coming out now, it's Team Juggernaut 
they're going to have to beat that 40.325 to take home the checkered flag in the modified class series. This is Jason and Samantha Christ, Team Juggernaut. They had the best time in the last round for the Modifieds at a 40.597, needing to beat that 40.325, and they're off! And it's a 39.821 clean run for Team Juggernaut. That is your winner in the modified class. So congratulations to Team Juggernaut. They're going to take home the checkered flag today in the modified class with a clean run, a very amazing run, under 40 seconds. Let's give them a hand as they take their victory lap. It's Jason and Samantha Christ with Team Juggernaut, boat 86. All right, once again, a big round of applause for Team Juggernaut. Congratulations, taking home the checkered, fight, the checkered flag in the modified class in our first race of the 2023 American Sprint Boat Racing season here at Extreme Sports Park. All right, so that's going to wrap up the first of our three classes of racing today. The modified class, once again, your winner, Team Juggernaut. Congratulations, though, to all of our racers in the modified class. Thank you for putting on a fantastic show for us this weekend. Next up, we're going to have our finals for the 400 class. It's going to be Preventing Insanity squaring off against Fat Buddy. Preventing Insanity, it's the 27 boat. Leighton Lilly and Cody Holzer squaring off against Phil Miller and Amy Thomason in the number 22 Fat Buddy boat. Preventing Insanity ready to go. The green flag is up. And they're off. That, folks, is a clean run.
Official time coming down at 38.567, preventing insanity with an insane run of 38.567. So that's the time to beat for the Fat Buddies coming out in the 22 boat. Phil and Amy, they're on the five minute clock right now as they get ready to roll. So they're on that clock. They're going to want to make sure they've got that boat out and running within the next five minutes. At which time, if they can hold on to the way that they've been racing, they, you know, it's going to, it's going to come real close. They ran a 37.939 in the eight cut and a 37.957 in the four cut. The time to beat a 38.567. Looks like they're double checking a few things in the boat. They've got it back up out of the water and on the trailer. The team taking a look. Other teams assisting, just taking a look what's going on with that boat. They've made it all the way to the finals, but now less than five minutes. So some concern down on the boat launches. The 22 boat seems to be having some issues. They're trying to get squared away so they can compete to take home this checkered flag. Right now, it's preventing insanity. And Leighton, Lily, and Cody Holzer, 3.30 left on the clock for Fat Buddy to get out and get rolling. All right, looks like the Jeep team is lowering that 22 boat back down towards the water. Three minutes remaining on the clock. And they're up and running. Looks like they're pushing off the trailer. All right, so we've got boat 22 in the water. Fat Buddy is in the water, making their way towards the starting line. Looks like they are indeed going to be able to make this final run. Again, the time to beat is 38.567, preventing insanity in the lead in the 400 class with a 38.567. Green flag is up, and it is going time. And that is a clean run. Looking for verification on that time before we make an announcement. Our clock showing a time of 37.807. And it's official 37.807. That is your winners in the 400 class, the 22 boat Fat Buddy Racings, Phil Miller and Amy Thomason. All right, congratulations to our friends at Fat Buddy Racing. The 22 boat taking a run with a checkered flag. An awesome time in the finals as they win it in the 400 class.
in our first race of the 2023 Steel American Sprint Boat Racing. Congratulations once again, Phil and Amy. Fantastic job today. All right, folks, it's time for our grand finale. So far, we've had some awesome racing, and we've got one more awesome race for you in the Unlimited class. It is going to be Boat 151 Psycho Racing taking on Boat 39M, the Jolly Roger. Psycho Racing, Kyle Patrick and Brooklyn Patrick ran a 36.900 to make it to the finals. As they make their way to the starting line. Looks like our island hoppers are double checking the condition of everything on the track before we wrap things up with this grand finale. Making their way to their positions, a specific position for all of our island hoppers so that they all have a good view of the full track, the crowd, the media, so they can keep everyone safe. Kyle and Brooklyn eagerly awaiting at the boat launch. As the 151 M boat makes its way to the starting line, Psycho Racing getting ready to open it up here in the Unlimited Class Finals. The green flag is up and it is go time! It's a clean run. And what a clean run at that for Psycho Racing. Thirty six point five five six, your official time. Kyle in Brooklyn, Patrick for the one fifty one M boat Psycho Racing. What a run. Thirty six point five five six, saving their best for last. So that's the time to beat now for the 39 M boat. This is Jolly Roger racing again. Eric Werner and Don Davis, they posted a 36.629 to make their way into the finals. Their time to beat, though, is a 36.556. So will they be able to shave just a couple tenths of a second off their previous run? Here they go! They came out hard, and the boat just had enough this weekend, running that engine hard the whole weekend. It's a DNF, but a fantastic effort all weekend by the Jolly Roger 39M boat, Eric Werner and Don Davis. But ladies and gentlemen, that means that your winner for the unlimited class here in Port Angeles to kick things off for 2023, Psycho Racing's Kyle Patrick and Brooklyn Patrick in the 151M boat. Congratulations to our unlimited class winners today. They'll be out shortly to wave the checkered flag. But first, we're going to get Jolly Roger taken care of. 
Looks like everybody is good over there. Getting the thumbs up. There are. Gary's going to bring uh, someone from Steel over for a sponsored ride. Gary's got one for Steel, and Kelly has somebody who won a raffle. She's looking for a boat to put them in, and she was going to update me on that. So. All right, so a fantastic day of racing in the unlimited class as well. All sorts of awesome action out here at Extreme Sports Park. And we look forward to bringing you our awards as soon as we wrap up our checkered flag presentation. All right. Some action on the boat launch. Jeep just found its way into the water, but he's back up. That Jeep was about halfway submerged for a second there. All right, folks, again, Psycho Racing getting ready to make a run with the checkered flag for the unlimited class. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and congratulate all of our race teams once again. One more time, could we get a big round of applause for all of our modified class today? And the 400 class. And representing the unlimited class as your champion on their way out to make their run with the checkered flag it's Psycho Racing in boat 151M. Congratulations once again to Kyle and Brooklyn Patrick. All right, congratulations once again, guys and fans. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us for our first event of the 2023 Steel American Sprint Boat Racing Series. Thank you, and give yourselves a round of applause. Psycho Racing, have a little fun out there. Kicking up some water for us. Wow, just wow, an amazing weekend of racing here from the Extreme Sports Park at Port Angeles, Washington. We've got another uh, special Paul White, your live stream producer for American Sprint Boat Racing, and I just want to thank every one of our viewers who stuck with us all weekend uh, on our ASBR 
Pro Racing Facebook and YouTube page. Also over at Cletus 2 McFarland channel. Thank you guys for joining us as well. We're going to be back two weeks from yesterday at Ontario, Oregon, at the new facility over there. So we'll be live streaming both those days of racing as well. So join us there. Just keep an eye on the ASBR Pro Racing Facebook page for information and updates about that. So we're going to be shutting down the stream here in just a couple of minutes. But thank you again for joining us. And I want a special thanks for, for my wife, Bonnie Burnham, for doing all the hard work up here on the booth today. And for Jeff Shaw for doing the uh, live camera work at the launch there. We really appreciate him. So thank you once again. And we'll be stopping the stream here in just a little bit.